<clears throat> Five, four, three, two, one. It seems we are live. So, hello and welcome, everybody. That looked a little weird because it was like this face that's just like. While I'm waving, while you see one hand waving, that was hilarious. Alrighty, so, <clears throat> we are live, we are going to be playing Mass Effect, the first one. Let me just bring up the YouTube chat on top over here so I can see that. Scroll this page down slightly. Alrighty, so, so far, um, it doesn't look like there, eh, it doesn't look like there's really anyone here, which is okay. I'm not expecting anyone to show up immediately, um, but I am expecting at least 50 people to show up today, total. You hear me? I'm kidding. Wh whatever, it, it doesn't matter how many, people sh how many people show up. It would just be cool for anyone to show up. All right, camera, stop lagging, thank you. <laughs> That's better. All right, so without further ado, and without uh, continuing to waste time, let me remove this piece of hair from the camera and then switch to the live screen. Oh, here we are. Okay, so, <clears throat> I took the liber liberty of not even starting up the game quite yet. Just because it's completely brand new. And this will be a completely blind playthrough of Mass Effect. I have literally never played this in my life. I don't even know the story of Mass Effect. Oh my goodness. I hope the sound is not gonna be too, too loud. That will not be so much fun, if it is. But, we're just gonna let everything play out the way it needs to for the first time. Actually, maybe maybe not that- okay, well, whatever, I can't get rid of that one. You know, logos and stuff. Alright. Mass Effect Bioware Corp. Oration. Alright, oh, it seems that one person is here. Haha, -ha, welcome to whoever you are, and thank you for joining the stream. I hope you will enjoy. So, <clears throat> Mass Effect, press start. <laughs> ah, I'm excited. I'm really excited to be playing this, actually. Because it's a completely brand new game for me. I, oh, okay. I, I could have, th there were so many times where I saw this. <coughs> Excuse me. Hey, Juzu Suzuya, welcome. How are you doing? There were so many times where I did see Mass Effect in the stores and stuff, and I'm like, oh, I should, I should play this. I want to get this, but it's like, I never knew what it was. To Alliance military database. And I just never decided to get it. Information requested. Streaming on a Wednesday? Yes, I am. I'm, I'm starting to add an extra day to my streaming schedule, because I think that will go well. I hope at least. Um, don't worry though, I will still be streaming Skyrim on Friday, Juzu. So, if you would like to join for that, you can still join for that. Alrighty. Ah, connect to database. Sounds good. Establishing secure connection. <laughs> secure connection. My cat is right here immediately. Hi kitty. Hi kitty kitty kitty. Do your covert N7 status. ID records are incomplete. Please confirm identity identity from the records below or register manually. Confirm your ID as CDR John Shepard Alliance Marine or manually enter career info and physical stats into the Normandy crew database. Let's do that one. Let's oh, let's do custom mail. Ah, okay, of course. Of course we are going to call myself Dragonate. Yes, of course. Drago Nate. Gosh, I don't have one of those keyboards for the for the thing, so it takes me a long time. Please log in to access your profile. The kitty leaf? No, kitty is still right here. Please log in to access your file. Okay, uh, this one. Yes. Preparing to send. Kitty. Does the kitty want up? Warning, data corruption detected. Oh no, there's data corruption. Hey Skelm, how are you doing? Uh, Mass Effect Andromeda was a bit Please of a disappointed disappointment. That's not too fun, but I, I saw like from, from the animations and stuff that they had, although I think they changed that and they have actual good animations. But uh, yes, and welcome Skelm. So, first name Drago, last name Nate, yes. Perfect, oh kitty. 
Don't get your head stuck on a cord. Ugh, this is this would not be good. Okay, well, first, Kitty needs to say hi. Hi. <laughs> okay, Kitty might not be seen for this one because. Uh, let's see here. Well, let's let's just move the camera down a bit. There we go. Then I'll, I'll just try and move my. Ah! Confirm Excuse me. Service history. Confirm service history. Yes. Um, that one. Right there. Some something something along them lines. Alrighty, I'll try. I'll try and move my face down a little bit more so you guys can still see mine. Ha <laughs> ha. Here we go. Spacer, colonist, Earthborn. Peter Sands, hello, welcome. Yes, this is Mass Effect 1. Ah, okay. Both of your parents were in the Alliance military. Your childhood was spent on ships and stations as they transferred from posting to posting, never staying in one location for more than a few years. Following in your parents' footsteps, you enlisted at the age of 18. Ooh, colonist. You were born and raised on... Rip camera. <laughs> Oopsie. You were born and raised on Mindler, a small border colony in the Attican Traverse. When you were 16, slavers raided Mindler, slaughtering your family and friends. Oh, you were saved by a passing alliance patrol, and you enlisted with the military a few years later. Earthborn, you were an orphan raised on the streets of the great megatropolises covering Earth. You escaped the life of, pretty, of petty crime and underworld gangs by enlisting with the alliance military when you turned 18. Hmm. I don't know. This would be kind of cool. But the colonist is is an interesting background story. You're so excited to see someone play this series for the first time. Awesome! Well, I'm glad. I'm glad you will definitely enjoy it. I'm sure. <laughs> Let's go with colonist. Psychological profile. Ooh, soul survivor. Hey, kitty, kitty. Are you're looking that way? Why are you looking that way? The game's over here, kitty. The game's that way, not that way. Silly kitty. Alrighty. During your service, a mission. During your service, a mission you were on went horribly wrong. Trapped in an extreme survival situation, you had to overcome physical torments and psychological stresses that would have broken most people. You survived while all those around you fell, and now you alone are left to tell the tale. War hero, early in your military career, you found yourself facing overwhelming enemy force. You risked your own life to save your fellow soldiers and defeat the enemy despite the impossible odds. Your bravery and heroism have earned you medals and recognition from the Alliance fleet. Ruthless. Throughout your me military career, uh, sorry about that uh, brain fart, you have held fast to one basic rule, get the job done. You've been called cold, calculating, and brutal. Your reputation for ruthless efficiency makes your fellow soldiers wary of you, but when failure is not an option, the military always goes to you first. You go colonist? Perfect. That is what I did. Alrighty, and this one, I like the soul Confirm survivor idea. So, okay, so there's, oh geez, these are, there's a lot of reading here. He's got magic powers! Oh, okay. Hey, Funny Fluffy, how are you doing? Oh, okay, darn it, cat. You already want down, you haven't even been up for five minutes. Ah, oh, my goodness gracious. Uh, here you go. Here you go, you silly kitty. Alright, let me fix the camera. Uh, point it that way. Like that. Alright, should be good. Should be good, uh, I think. A um, bit more that way. I think. Yeah. Yeah, that looks right. Alrighty. <clears throat> War hero? Oh, sorry. I already did. The other one, Soul Survivor. Oh, I apologize. This is off. This is off now. Oh my goodness. I apologize. I don't know why my camera can't just like stay in one spot right now. This, this is a one bad thing about, about me putting my kitty on my lap for these streams. Okay. That should be exactly where it goes. There we go. Um, sorry, Juzu. Uh, Dragon its Mom, how are you doing now? Thanks for raising some awareness with MS. Thank you for paying attention to that, Peter. Um, soldiers are a combat specialist ideal for the front lines of a firefight. Soldiers get improved health, can train in the use of all weapon types, start with the ability to use medium armor, and can specialize in heavy armor. <coughs> Engineers are tech specialists. 
Using the holographic Omni tool, they can decrypt security systems, repair or modify technical equipment, disrupt enemy weapons or shields, and heal the squad. Engineers can only use light armor and only receive weapons training with pistols. That sounds like it'd be difficult. Adepts are biotic specialists. Through upgradable implants, they can use biotic powers to lift or throw objects. The squad shield the squad and disable or destroy enemies. Adepts can only use light armor and can only receive weapons training with pistols. Infiltrators combine combat and tech abilities to specialize in killing or disabling enemies at long range. Trained to use Omni tools, focusing on dis decryption, offensive abilities rather than healing. They use pistols or sniper rifles and medium armor. I like snipers. Sentinels combine biotic and tech abilities. Typically, they use biotic. Still in the character editor? Of course! It's only been, what, like... Five minutes doing this? Eight minutes? I don't know. <laughs> Advanced healing skills to defend allies. That was a catastrophe. Yes, it was. It very much was. <laughs> Ah, da -da. Disrupt opponents with biotic or tech attacks. They are more efficient at tech and biotics than other classes, but at the expense of combat. Sentinels can only use light armor, receive no advanced weapon training. Vanguards, biotic warriors, they combine biotics and weapons to take down opponent opponents. And are especially deadly at short range. They use pistols and shotguns and can specialize in medium armor. Ah... Soldier is best for filthy noobs? <laughs> what are you trying to say, Balls? How dare you? I don't know. I kind of like the combination ones, but... Hmm. I guess I would go with Soldier. We can start with Soldier. You go Sentinel. Sentinel. Hmm. Sentinel. Well, I do like the, I the idea of... What was it? Oh, this is... Um, no, that's not what I thought it was. But at the expense of combat. Oh, I don't know. Because I really like snipers. I feel like this one might be difficult because I, I, I like to do combat. But then again, I like to sneak as well. I'm going to go infiltrator. I'm going to go infiltrator because I want to... Um, I want to do... Snipers and stuff. And I like the combination stuff. Um, my first was soldier, but I love playing as renegade, infiltrator, female shepherd. Ah. Create a different facial appearance. Let's do that. Ooh, uh, you look a little bit strange there. Facial structure. Okay. Facial structure. Let us go. Oh, goodness gracious. Let's go with that one. Skin tone. Let's make him slightly in the middle. Complexion. Oh, jeez. Well, I don't want him old. He's going to be young. Should he have a scar? No scar. Or big giant scar. Nah, you know what? No, no scar. Let's do that. Soldier get all guns. Oh. Oopsie. Oh, well. This is fine. <laughs> this is totally fine. We will still just go with this. Neck thickness. Let's give him a pencil neck. Uh, face size. I like the thin... Cheek width. I also like thin for cheek width. Cheekbones. Make those about there. And cheek gaunt. What does that even mean? Oh, okay. I see it. Ear size. Tight. No. Uh, big ears. Can can we can we give him elf ears? <laughs> Skyrim modification time. Pretty much. Um, let's make those ears flat. Perfect. Eyes. Eye shape. Ooh. Ooh. I always kind of like the eye shape that you can do with games. So the, the Sims is like, it's extremely difficult to make a character in The Sims for me. I like this one. Eye height. Yes. Eye width. That looks a bit weird. Uh, right about there. In the middle. Eye depth. Uh, let's, <laughs> let's give him bulging alien eyes. Oh, goodness. Or completely recessed eyes. Brow depth. I like that. I like that one there. Brow height. Let's give him high eyebrows. Yes, an iris color. Oh my goodness, look at that bright, vibrant green. That's what we're going to do. I want green eyes. Green is my favorite color, so let's go with that. Chin height. Yes. Chin depth. Uh, let's give him a pointed chin. Your character appearance doesn't matter at all. You can take this, the same one for Mass Effect 2 anyway. That's okay. I, I, I feel like 
making an interesting character. <laughs> Jaw width. I'm I'm just gonna try and go quickly ish through through this Ooh, 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 thin lips. I like I like the thin lips. Yes, thin lips. Mouth depth, we'll go with that. Mouth width, let's give him a tiny mouth. Not gonna be able to fit a burger in that mouth. <laughs> Lip size, oh, we can make them even thinner. Cool, okay, mouth height, no. Okay, his mouth height is either going to be like this, or like this. <laughs> let's put it in the middle. Right about there. Nose. I don't want to spend a ton of time on here, but I, I, I do want to spend a bit of time because I, I want to give some time for other people to end up showing up as well because sometimes it takes a while for for other people to show up to the stream. So I think I think spending a time spending a bit of time doing something in the game would be kind of a good idea. Beard. Ooh. Well, what, do, what does mine look like? Mine is like all just like here. It's got like sideburns coming from the ear down underneath. Hey, Moody's Media, how are you doing? I am pretty good. So let us go with, ah! Oh! oh, yes, mine, mine looks, oh, this looks exactly like my mustache right now. Let's go with this. Or this, let's go with that. Brow. Oh, no brows? That's a little strange. Uh, you always spend hours of character creation trying to get everything perfect. You know what? I definitely do too, <laughs> especially with The Sims. For The Sims to make one single character, it takes me a couple hours, maybe, sometimes. You have to look at that face for hours so I wouldn't make it too ugly. <laughs> perfect, I'll make it perfect then. Does he have long hair? Can you give him long hair? You seriously can't give him long hair? Ah, well, what what is this then? This, this, this long hair that I have. <sighs> I wanted to make it look exactly like me. Game, how dare you. Um, let's go with this one. Hair color. Blonde, bright, uh, golden blonde, like that. Facial hair color. Uh, black, yes, perfect. And finalize. Profile reconstruction complete. Profile reconstruction complete. Profile reconstruction. Ah, oh, there. I kind of like how it looks. It looks interesting, in my opinion. Alrighty. Once you confirm your character is complete, you will be unable to change any settings. Yes. Identification confirm. confirmed. Combat difficulty. Um, all enemies, including bosses, are scaled down relative to the player's level. Most enemies have no special protection or immunities. Normal or veteran? Well, I won't go veteran. <laughs> I might go normal. Uh, you got a copyright strike on a video for some unknown reason, which even YouTube couldn't explain. It's probably for, uh, for music. You have to be very careful with music in games. It's a soldier, not a pirate. Long hair wouldn't make sense. Ugh. I still want the long hair anyway. We can't, can't, can't I have a space pirate soldier? That would be nice. Hey, Abby's loyalty. How are you doing? Welcome to the stream. Combat, yes, yeah, so we're gonna go with that. Auto level up. Points must be manually assigned using the squad screen each time Shepard or any squad member gains a level. Squad down player. Yeah, let's go off. Alright, um, I'm going to actually go squad only. I'll automatically do that. Um, but I'll, ran uh, I'll manually assign my own. Target assist. At maximum to make combat easier. High, normal. At medium, make combat more challenging. I'll try normal. See what that goes, I can always change that later. Squad power usage. Squad AI will use all available talents. Defense only disabled. Let's go with active. Um, and autosave. Yes, when, I, when enabled, the autosave option periodically saves the progress. Blah, blah, blah. We know what that is. Why am I even reading this? Okay. Now we're into the game. Actually, we're on a loading screen. So that's okay. You're unfortunately out in a boat and it sucks. Aw. That does suck. Hmm. But hopefully, hopefully you'll be able to get back in time to see a little bit. Otherwise, it's well, still good to see you, though. What about Shepard? He grew up in the colonies. He knows how tough life can be out there. His parents were killed when slavers attacked Mindwar. Mindwar. He saw his whole unit die on a cruise. He could have some serious emotional <coughs> scars. 
Every soldier has scars. Shepard's a survivor. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? Yes. That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make the call. Yep, I will be doing another stream on Friday. In the year 2148, explorers on Mars discovered the remains of an ancient spacefaring civilization. In the decades that followed, these mysterious artifacts revealed startling new technologies enabling travel to the furthest stars. The basis for this incredible technology was a force that controlled the very fabric of space and time. They called it the greatest discovery in human history. The civilizations of the galaxy call it Mass Effect. I like this music so far, actually. Hopefully this doesn't get copyrighted. Calculating transit mass and destination. The relay is hot. Inquiring approach vector. Well, sweet. Delightful. Station secure for transit. Nice. <coughs> and there we are. Come on, smile, stop frowning. Maybe there's a way I can turn the music down. I don't want to press anything though, because I want to skip this. You have allergies and your boss has you at a park full of... Hmm. Oh, az azaleas. Okay, azaleas. Sorry. <laughs> oh, that kind of really sucks. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emission sink engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. Perfect. 1500 is good. Ooh. Hello. Your captain will be pleased. Who and or what are you? I hate that guy. <laughs> You're nice. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So oh, Normandy, such a lovely ship. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. Paranoid. The council helped fund this project. I remember, they nothing right you do will change the ending of Mass Effect 3. Investment. Yeah, that is the official story. That's not fair. Only an idiot believes the official story. I agree. They don't send specters on shakedown runs. So there's more going on here than the captain's letting up. Joker, status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comms buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance. Gotta go for now. Okay. Hope your allergies will be all right, Abby. Better brace yourself, sir. And enjoy Thank the rest of your day as well. He's already here, Lieutenant. Already Tell Commander here. Shepard to meet me in the calm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? I heard. I'm on my way. <laughs> Is it me or does the captain always sound a little pissed off? Of course he does. Only when he's talking to you, Joker. Okay. Uh, oh, the mission computer accesses your journal, map, and other important screens. Flashing screens of new updates. Move the left stick to highlight journal. Codex screen now. Press A to select highlight screen. Alrighty, I want options. Yes, options. Because I want to turn music down a bit. Sound effects volume we're going to turn to about 80, I think, and dialogue we're going to have up as much as possible. Um, Hobbit Queen, you've not played this game before either. Looking forward to watching you play it. Awesome, well thanks. I'm glad you're here to watch. And thanks for joining the screen. Welcome, er, stream. Welcome back, because you were here before. Um... You're back, Juzu. How's it going? It's going pretty good. I'm just turning down some stuff. Um, I don't want inversion. Graphics, options, display setting, default motion, motion blur, film grain. Uh, sure, whatever. That should all be fine. I just want to make sure everything is going to work well and all that. Oh, okay. We've set up that already. Okay. So, um, I probably have no need for any of this right now. Let's just save right here. <laughs> First thing I do when I start to actually play, save. You probably oh. don't want to keep the captain waiting. The captain's waiting for you in the comm room, Commander. Uh-huh. 
That that's okay. He can he can wait. <gasps> oh god. And we're getting dragged. Yes. Is this a captain? Congratulations, Commander. Nope. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? He wants to see me, yeah. I'm on my way to give him a status update right now. With all due respect, sir, maybe he'll finally tell you what we're really doing out here. I hope so. That'd be nice. I'd like to know. Uh, what's my Roblox user? Um, it is simply Dragonate. One end, though. I don't know if you intended to put uh, two ends there or if you if it was just a quick type or whatever, but it, it's Dragonate with one end. I probably won't play it very often, but uh, yeah. If you want to do that, you can do that. Um, I'll look into it. I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Yes. Good luck, Commander. Thank you. Spank you, sir. Spank you very much. Uh, so, so where exactly I need to go? Mm -hmm. I don't know where the captain's room is or whatever. That the romance and sex options with aliens begin. Oh, God. Oh, terrifying. Oh, okay. It shows me the flag right there. Oh, hello. You look interesting. Oh, I can actually talk to you. We won't be staying on Awkward even quite too long. The we're captain is a black guy. Alrighty. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. Um. Hmm. Relax, Jenkins. You need to calm down, Corporal. A good soldier stays cool, even under fire. Yes. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before. Not one with a Spectre on board. You'll do fine. Just treat this like every other assignment you've had and everything will work out. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself on a coos. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. There's no rush. You're young, Corporal. You have a long career ahead of you. Don't do something stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, sir. I'm not going to screw this up. Yeah. Um, oh, okay, so I can I can learn more about uh, these things. I'll, I think I'm just going to go straight the to the other. AKA, Goodbye. always the first to die. Yes, the red shirts, right? It's always the red shirts. Isn't that in uh, Star Trek or something? The red shirts always die? Ooh. Oh, this is the captain. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. People give maybe? Us oh, maybe he's talk. not. Never mind. Um, it will give us a chance to talk. Talk? He doesn't. What about... Oh. I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. Beyond beautiful. They say it's a paradise. Yes, a paradise. Serene, tranquil, safe. Eden Prime has become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? How's the Proof volume for you guys? You can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe Those is eyes it be really? popping. <laughs> yes. That's exactly what I wanted. Uh, proof that humanity can always establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. How safe is it really? Um, why are you asking? Do you know something? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Of course are it can. Are the truly ready for this? No. Why well, would the lines be truly ready for this? Really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. I knew it. I figured there was something you weren't telling us. Mm -hmm, of course. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. Ah. Uh, Captain Anderson was actually meant to be the main character when Bioware started to make this game. Oh, really? That's interesting. And that character is... Thuggy? <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> covert pickup. Why the secrecy? There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top, <laughs> Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. Oh, of course. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed <coughs> some kind of beacon during Shh, an excavation. It's beautiful. <laughs> it was Prothean. Prothean. What I is this? I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. Oh. The mass relays, the citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. Interesting. This is Big Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. Oh, wow. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Okay. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Hmm. Why did we tell the Council? Why didn't we keep the beacon for ourselves? You humans don't have the best reputation. Some species see you as selfish, too unpredictable, too independent. 
even dangerous. Yeah, well, Sharing humans do seem to be that way sometimes, don't we? <laughs> we need their Just in general. Interplanetary no war and alien sex. The beacon is oh, not the, the only best. reason I'm here, Shepard. Oh Iris no. Wants to see you in action, Commander. Oh. He's here to evaluate you. I should have known. Guess that explains why I bump into him every time I turn around. Yeah. The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar Looks like policy. a character is acoustic. We want more say with the Citadel Council. I think the I understand what you mean. The Council's power and authority. Maybe. Possibly. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. Oh, really? Not many could have survived. You love Mass Effect? Tally is Bay. Oh. Remarkable will to I don't even know who that is, but we'll find out. useful talent. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Oh, really? You support this, Captain? I assume this is good for the Alliance. There's good just so much to learn in this game. Almost everything has We're history. Oh, wow. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. Gonna be just you like Skyrim in the, the amount of information? Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. <coughs> Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Alright, uh... Investigate. I want to learn more about the, Prome about the Pro Protheans. Protheans. Not Prometheans, that's different. They were a technologically advanced species that ruled the galaxy 50,000 years ago. Then they vanished. Why? Nobody really knows how or why, though I've heard plenty hmm. of theories. But everyone agrees galactic civilization wouldn't exist without them. The probably... Citadel is the very heart of galactic society. And without their mass relays, interstellar characters and instruments. <laughs> we all owe them. Do I? I don't know if I do. Okay, so, so, my, my theory right now, which is probably way, way off as to why the Protheans decided to disappear, is simply because they, they created all this technology, and, and they were so advanced and everything, then they decided, you know what, we've done enough, let's just leave this stuff lying around like a, like a, a huge intergalactic scavenger hunt, easter egg hunt for other species and stuff to, to find and to fight over and to play around with. Sounds good. Let's all go jump off a bridge now. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so I already learned about the Protheans. I'd like to know more about Eden Prime before we touch down. Yes, please. It's a peaceful farming world, but it represents something much bigger. Eden Prime is one of our oldest and most successful... Lenny face. It proved we were ready to face the challenges of settling new worlds, to forge a place for humanity beyond Earth. Oh. It symbolizes... Humanity's growth and they evolution still live. of the space-faring oh, species. Both. Don't spoil things. How dare you? It will be known as the world where humans made a discovery of galactic I'm just importance. You. Okay, so 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 if they still live, then they didn't jump off a bridge. They all decide to hide under a rock. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't have a rock here, but it's probably a rock about this size, roughly. I think. Um, you know, some, something you can fit in your hand. They're all just hiding under that one rock. What one one of their one of their uh, technologies that they had um, was uh, something that allows them to shrink themselves and stuff, so they they can literally just hide under a rock that fits in the palm of your hand. I like that idea. Okay, beacon. Why is this beacon so important? All advanced galactic civilization is based on Prothean technology, even yours. Oh really? If we hadn't discovered those Prothean <coughs> ruins buried on Mars, we'd still be stuck on Earth. Oh. That was just a small data cache. Who knows what we can learn from this beacon? What if it's a weapons archive? None of your choices we matter. Spoiler. <sighs> oh. Kind of on the wrong hand. Wrong like hands? You. Like who? The Attican Traverse isn't the most stable sector of Citadel space. There are plenty of raiders. No, they all jumped off a bridge, but wasn't high enough to kill them. Ah. And then they went to hide under the rock because the because they decided that was probably ship. a better idea. Plus, Eden Prime is right on the border of the Terminus system. Yeah. Okay, Terminus the system. There's lots of stuff here. Protection. Your crew changes every game. How dare you? Attack, it's an act of war. Technically, yes. <laughs> but some of the species in the Terminus might be willing to start a war over this. Oh, yeah? The last thing the Council wants is to get dragged into a major conflict with the Terminus systems. We have to keep this low-key. Okay, I'm ready to go. Let's Just leave. give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a Sounds problem. Sounds good. I hope so. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You that better face. See Bring it up on screen. Oh no. There's war. Oh hey, you knew the game. Let me just spoil everything in the game for you. <laughs> ah, Walls well, is just being silly. Just being a silly billy. I like how we're all just uh, 
watching this like, oh, oh, this is a good movie. Where's the popcorn? Oh. They came out of nowhere. We need... Doesn't matter, the ending is crap anyway. Eh. That's okay, it'll still be fun to play through it, I think. <coughs> Everything okay. Comes out after that. No com traffic at all. No com traffic Just at all. Just goes dead. Nothing. There's nothing. Reverse and hold of 38.5. How do you know exactly where that is? And the crap starts to hit the fan. Status of course report. it does. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. Darn it. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Everybody's Glad a critic. Meet us in the cargo hold. <laughs> it's true. Everybody has their own critiques Tell of Lango everything. Tell Jenkins to suit up, Commander. Pretty much. You're going in. So what is that? Is that a ship or a giant hand or something? Looks like a ship. Some kind of a ship. Engaging it's a spider ship. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Sure seems Your that Your team's way. the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a <clears throat> secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Looks like a giant hand. It does, Pilots, doesn't it? You coming with us? I move faster on my own. Okay. Not Goodbye. Not out ahead. Get out of He'll here. feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. Um, can we trust him? I don't like putting my life in the hands of a Turian, sir. Nihilus is on Do our side. Do you like the endings? He wants you endings. in the Spectres, and he wants that beacon. Uh, and ending really doesn't matter. Back, the Captain. journey to it is more the important. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Sounds good. Good luck. It's like, does the end justify the means? I guess. We are approaching drop point two. If the end doesn't change. Maybe it's just the means getting there. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Yes. Smells like smoke and death. Well, that's delightful. It smells like smoke and death. Um, okay, so do, do we go this way? Oh, wait. Oh, you can't even. There's an invisible wall. My goodness. Wait, what? Put that away. I didn't press that. Oh, why does that? So does that. Okay. Um, I'm just trying to figure out how, how you jump. Can you even jump? It doesn't look like you can jump. Oh, you can't even sneak around either. I don't know what these are. Oh, hello. What, what, what happens if I shoot one of these? I hate bad endings. Oh, press and hold the left bumper to switch weapons for your squad. Left bumper. This pauses the game. Oh, left bumper. Oh. Okay. To, ah. Yeah, okay. Cool. Um. Ah! Yes. Okay. So, so I'm assuming these are supposed to be here for target practice or something, <laughs> which sounds, which is kind of funny and a little bit mean. All right. Oh, what's this? Apparently nothing. Oh no, what did I just do? Did I just throw a bomb or something? I only have four of those left. Well, oh, yep, that was a bomb. Okay, well, that's fine. I'm okay with this. Pop. Completely harmless, you say, eh? Not gonna do anything? Hey, Bullaby, how are you doing? No worries. Ooh, armor upgrade or weapon upgrade? Improved sighting. Or hardened weave, or do I have both? Reduced to omni gel. Oh, I don't want that. Oh, I get both actually. Okay, so so this goes into the codex then. Weapons, armor, and equipment. Advanced technology have made individual soldiers more dangerous survival than ever before. Okay, upgrades. The development of practical ma m manufacturing omni tools. Uh, manufacturing. Allows modern militaries a great deal of flexibility in equipment loadouts. A vast number of field modification kits or upgrades are available for common equipment, such as weapons, armor, omni tools, biotic amps, and even uh, grenades. 
An upgrade tip kit typically consists of less than a dozen unique parts and an optical storage disk. When loaded into an Omni tool, the OSD provides all technical specifications required to manufacture these tools and additional parts necessary. To install the upgrade onto another piece of equipment, assembly is typically modular and installation can be completed in less than a minute. Since Omni tools are designed to use common battlefield salvage materials such as plastic, ceramics, and light metals, uh, rendered into semi molten Omni gel for quick use, it is quite possible for a trained soldier carrying upgrade kits to customize gear on the battlefield to fit the current tactical situation. All right. And then there's this here. Maybe I can read that another time then, because there's a lot of stuff here. Um, now, journal options equipment. That's what I want. Equipment. There we go. The equipment screen allows you to view, equip, and upgrade gear for each member of your squad. Press left or right on the D-pad to cycle between weapons, armor, and other base item up types. Press up or down on the d-pad to view available models of each base item type displayed in the selected item pane. A switches, a switches an equipped item with the selected item. X allows you to install or switch upgrades with an equipped item. Y dismantles the selected item, breaking it down into Omnigel for later use. This item is gone forever. Okay. Um, so I have... Um, what exactly am I doing here? Light armor, human. This is this is my own armor, right? This is equipped item. Does it not show you everything all at once? I guess it doesn't. Okay, right, so I could do hardened weave for an armor upgrade. I like this. I like that idea. And then for the assault rifle, I think for the pistol. Improved sighting. Specially calibrated sights can increase weapon accuracy. I'll do that. Yes. Alright, perfect. Sounds good. Haha. Now, do we climb? Do we climb over these? Is that what we do? No? Guess that's not what we do. We go... I actually have no clue where I'm supposed to go right now. What direction? Or anything. Am I just being dumb? Oh my goodness gracious, I apologize. If I end up screwing things up, I sincerely apologize. Or if I get stuck, stupidly. For no reason. Again, I also apologize. Because <laughs> I don't know exactly where I'm supposed to go. Or what I'm supposed to do. And it feels like I'm stuck already. Do I have to go up that way? Looks like there's an area up here. Or not. Maybe not at all. And I'm just dumb going up this way. <clears throat> <clears throat> Eden Prime will never be the same again. No, of course I won't. Oh God. Okay, where am I supposed to go? Am I am I seriously missing something that badly? Do the thing with the thing on the thing. It's not that hard. What are you talking about? Where's my map? Can I can I zoom in? Yes. Where's it wanting me to go? There's all this area this way. So I'm pointing that direction? Or is it that way that it's talking about? Oh my gosh. How? How can I get this stuck? Immediately. No, now we're going straight that way. So we turn left a little bit. That way! Okay, I see it. I had these moments too. <sighs> That's ridiculous. Oh, there's dead people. They're all burnt too. Or, no, those aren't people. Those are... Maybe? I don't know. Enough looking at those. Enough looking at the bodies, and we'll just uh, continue on this way. Now that I found the way to do it, the thing, man, just do it. I, I did, I did the upgrade thing. Don't worry, I did it. What is this? Hello, gas bags. <gasps> really. Well, that, that was smart. Wah! Okay, my, my aim sucks. Let's 
Stop moving. Stop moving. Okay, well, you, you got that one. Yes. Alright, there we go. Yay me. Um, this poor guy's dead. Rip Close his eyes. They're out of chance. Ah, <sighs> he deserves a burial. Yes. We'll see that he receives a proper service once the mission is complete. But I need you to stay focused. Burn corpses, family friendly. Of course. Aye, aye, sir. <gasps> leveled up. Oh, I leveled it, it, it up. Yay. Uh, where do I go for leveling up? Journal? No, not journal. Uh, equipment. Passively? I have no darn clue. Maybe I should have made the level up thing uh, uh, automatic. What is this? Oh, information for it. <clears throat> That's detail. Toggle helmet. Oh, take helmet on and off. Blue wire tool. Oh, cool. Aldrin Labs. How do I go for leveling up, squad? This is where. Okay. Squad screen lets you view talents for each squad member. Press up or down on the D-pad to view general descriptions of a talent. Press left or right to view details of each rank in a talent. Press A to spend points and gain ranks in the selected talent. Note character level limits. Character level limits how many ranks you can have in a given talent. Each time you gain a level, you unlock another rank and gain more points to spend. Use the D-pad now to view descriptions for your talents. Alright, so pistols. Um, increases damage and accuracy. I think that would actually be a really darn good idea. Um, can I not do that? Oh, I can do that. Okay. But I can't do the next one. Can I? Or can I? I can. Okay. Overload. Do I already have that? Or? No. Okay. Decryption. Yes. Increased tech explosion. 50 damage, 6 mile radius, electronics is other stuff. I wasn't even paying attention what that was, but I think pistols are going to be good. Only available when using pistols. Boosts accuracy, 60% increase the rate of fire. One round per second reduces heat 30% to compensate. Nice. Squad. Thank ya. Alrighty. Well, we're getting some, uh, some... Oh, you'll gain Metagel and Omnigel throughout the game by defeating enemies in opening containers. Metagel is necessary to heal injured squad members. Omnigel is needed to use decryption and electronics on objects in the game. Sweet. Press Y to heal injured members of your squad. Each use consumes one unit of Metagel. Oh, sweet. Oh, excuse me. So, I assume that my other squad member here is going to die very very soon at some point and I'm going to be left completely alone shoot that shoot that uh, press start to access mission computer oh there now you tell me to unlock to you to, to go to the squad screen a lot of bodies I'm gonna check it out I'll try to catch up with you at the dig site all right and we have another armor plating one sweet metagel plus one okay so I feel like there's gonna be a lot of different things going on up in here that I have to go to um, LT okay yeah so his is just gonna be automatic mine will not let's go to equipment because I can go to this guy and upgrade his armor uh, X for upgrades that's it Armor plating plus 5% damage protection. Let's do that. I like that idea. Nothing on charm or intimidate except you only complete it once. They will grow by your actions, so it's wasted XP. Oh. Oh, that's no fun. Now let's do a quick save here. Too bad I don't actually have a quick save feature. It's always great in games. I guess I didn't want you doing that. Oh, oh my goodness. Use a D-pad to issue tactical orders to your squad. Up sends your squad forward. Down orders them to sneak, seek cover and hold position. Left rallies so they regroup around you. Right orders them to attack the selected target. Oh, come on. Shoot, shoot the gas bag. Shoot the fart bag. I have unlimited ammo, don't I? Oh, okay. Well, I ignore the fart bag for now. Uh, thank you. Gotcha. <laughs> oh, you're leaving already, Bolobi? Okay, well, thanks for joining for a bit. See you again soon. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Oh, okay. Gas bags are not important. Oh, there you are. Hello. Come on. There. Thank you. 
that works much better. I see an upgrade kit over here. Oh shoot, but there's more, there's more enemies. Okay. Now let's go grab that upgrade kit over here. And we'll just ignore the fart bag. Because there's probably no point. <laughs> oh, that's all we got is metagel. Ugh, nothing else? My goodness gracious. You could have given me something else, game. Okay, take that off. What goes this way? Just the fart bag. That's it. Is there any other stuff I'm gonna have to like search around for? Find secrets lying around. Oh, hello. Check your targets. Could be friendlies. Could be, but I doubt it. Oh, hi. Who and or what are you? Oh, oh, someone's running away. We need to save her. I th I'm assuming that's a woman. <clears throat> kind of seems like a woman, but I'm not 100% sure. Oh no. Oh, okay. Well, that's lovely. Are these guys just robots? Where are they? Let me fire ya. Aim down a little bit. These don't seem to be just robots. Oh. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. You the one in charge here, sir? Are you okay? Are you wounded, Williams? A few scrapes and burns, nothing serious. The others weren't so lucky. Oh man, we were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. Uh. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Fighting these things? Any idea what kind of enemy we're facing? I think they're Geth. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? Because they're jerks. They must have come for the beacon. Or that. The dig site is close, <clears throat> just over that rise. It might still be there. Join us. We could use your help, Williams. Aye, aye, sir. It's time for payback. Ooh, yes, let's get payback. All right, I want to learn more about Geth. What else do you know about the Geth? Just what I remember from history <clears throat> class back in school. They're synthetics. History class. life forms with limited AI programming, created by the Quarians a few centuries ago. They were supposed to be a source of cheap labor, but ended up turning on the Quarians and drove them into exile. Oh, that's delightful. Well, after that, they just kind of disappeared behind the Perseus Veil. Nobody's really heard much from them since. Ah, oh, that's probably for Tell good reason, everything to be you know about the beacon. <coughs> they were doing some digging out here to extend the monorail and expand the colony. A few weeks ago, they unearthed some Prothean ruins and the beacon. Suddenly, mm -hmm, every scientific expert here for. in the colony was interested. That's when they brought us in to secure the site. Of course. I don't know much about the beacon itself, but I heard one of the researchers say this could be the biggest scientific discovery of the century. And the scientists. What happened to the researchers at the <coughs> And the scientists? I don't know. They set up camp near the beacon. The 232 was with them. Maybe their unit fared better than mine. Okay, there's a couple more options before the attack. Describe what happened <coughs> leading up to the attack. We were sent out a couple of nights ago from the main colony to secure the area. Seemed like a routine patrol until the Geth hit us. We never knew they were coming. Okay. How about Nihilus? Have you seen a Turian Spectre around here? There aren't any Turians on Eden Prime. None that I've ever met. Not sure I'd be able to tell if one was a Spectre anyway. If you saw this guy, you'd know. Carries enough firepower to wipe out a whole platoon. Luckily, he's on our side. Yeah, thankfully. Sorry. Like I said, no Turians. Alright, well then let us go. <laughs> Move out. Okay. <laughs> uh, so where is there? Um, there's this over here. There's this upgrade kit, and then that is a crate. Anti-personal rounds. Oh, personnel rounds. Sorry, my bad. And phasic rounds. Interesting. Interestingness. I like this. And a crate. We have light armor human scorpion one. Ah. Press start to access mission computer, then select equipment screen. Yes, I know this. I already did this game. Thank you very much. Uh, so I don't think there's anything else over here, probably. <clears throat> so let's go here. Let's go to equipment. Allows you to view, equip, and upgrade. Didn't I already do this before? All right. So, oh. So on it. So light armor, scorpion. Who? 
What is that? Pain cutter. Oh! Okay, so that's that's a completely different set of armor. Ah! I want this. Transfer installed upgrades to the new item. Yes, yes please. I would like that very much. Um, and then for my pistol, I think I'm going to give it... Oh, I can't do that. Hmm. Shotgun. No. Did not think so. Let's go to the assault rifle. What? Okay, so, so where are the rounds? Where are the rounds I just got? Anti-personnel rounds and all that. Aldrin Lab Solaris Amp 1. So what does this do exactly? I don't even know how, how to do this. Oh, this is for Caden. Oh, what? Okay, so no, now he has the scorpion there. <clears throat> Whereas here I have the the onyx light armor. Um, well, I'm going to take this guy. I'm going to take, take his armor and do that. There we go. Now let's go to Ashley. Does she have... She has much better armor than this one is. So let's not do anything with that then. Now for myself. What can I do with the anti-personnel rounds? Absolutely nothing. Oh, wait. Okay. Improved sighting 2. Oh, I have that now? Or is that, like, brand new? No, that was already there. Okay. So can I not give anyone those uh, those extra rounds that I just got? It doesn't seem so. <coughs> Interesting. Well, that's okay, then. Let's go to the squad. Do we level up? Uh, no, we did not. It doesn't look like. Allows long oh, overkill. Allows long bursts of accurate assault rifle fire. All right. Uh, so she already has her points there. Let's go to Shepard. We don't have any points. And Kaden, he does not have anything. Okay. Well, that's fine. Let us continue. This poor guy over here. Um, all these poor guys over here. That's ridiculous. That's stupid. Cover is an important part of combat. Run to the waypoint to use cover behind the rock. You must be in combat mode to take cover. Press X. X to enter combat mode. Really? Okay. And then and then how do we enter cover? Oh, there we go. Move to the edge of the rock. Pull left trigger to pop out and zoom from behind cover. Sweet. Okay, well, there's no enemies here. Press left stick button to crouch slash stand up. Oh, well... I did great. I actually did do great. Two shots. Took him down. Oh. Oh, no. Press back to throw grenades. Wait for time detonation. Wait for time de detonation. Or press back again to detonate. I don't really want to do that right now, though. During combat, storm lets you sprint at high speed for short distances. Press and hold A while moving to storm. All right. Thank you. Um, I would just like to not die. There we go. Oh, oh no, another one. Oh no. How much many more? There are going to be more of you? No. No more of you? Alright. Well, this is good then. I know that meta gel probably was a little bit wasted there. But that's alright. Why are they randomly impaling guys? That seems ridiculous if you ask me. Oh, we have a new pistol, new assault rifle, and new sniper rifle. Two, sweet, already. XP plus ten. <coughs> let's go to equipment. Let's see here. Is let me go to here. This is this is Shepherd here. Okay, yes, this is this is Dragon Eight Shepherd. Ha oh, ha, Dragon Eight Shepherd. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, so this sniper rifle shots before overheat accuracy. Oh, the accuracy rating is much much lower. Hmm. How about this pistol, though? Shots before overheat and accuracy rating also much, much lower, but damage is higher. I think I'm doing fine with without it. This one is slightly better, actually. I am going to switch this one over. Yep, and then we'll go over to here. He has the exact same. What about her? Her assault rifle is also the exact same. So we'll just ignore that then. Uh, the pistol, though. I'm going to give him this new pistol. And her, I'm going to give the new sniper rifle. There we go. Now, preview item. Uh, R for details. All right. Let's leave that. 
and go do other things. Move on to where we need to this go. This is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. The beacon was that oh, close. Our side or the Geth? Hard <clears> to say. <throat> Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. Any any survivors? You think anyone got out of here alive? If they were lucky. Maybe hiding up in the camp. Well, that's not it's good. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Okay. Save and contact. Oh, there's the auto save in action. <coughs> Excuse me. There's a small spaceport up ahead. I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there. All right. I'll see you there in a slight little bit then, sir. Um I guess we go this way then. Maybe? Maybe not. Is this the right way? Is this the right? I'm I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? I apologize. I'm getting stuck on like the simplest things here. I'm just simply going the wrong darn way. Probably. I probably just go up this way. Yeah. Up and around. All right. Well, this makes more sense. I don't know what the heck I'm doing. At least I know how to run now, or sprint, like or whatever. Hit the camp hard. Yes. It's a good place for an ambush. Keep your guard up. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, what is that? What are those? Those can't just be people. Oh, oh no. Nope. They're still alive. What did oh. The they turned them into cyborgs or something like that. I think. Maybe. That's a terrifying thing. Hey! Shoot! Get get shot! Oh that disables the shields. Okay, so don't don't let them through then. How am I not hitting them? There we go, that's better. Do we level up again? It seems we might have leveled up. Let's go over here and grab this upgrade kit. Oh, we have medium armor <coughs> and heavy armor. Sweet, Krogan. What exactly does that mean? All right, well, let's just go see what, what all this new armor does. Um, so light armor for human. So I, I can't wear any of that. Uh, Ashley, she could do that, but no. Uh, this guy can't do the others either. Well, that's that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Space zombies. Disgusting. I don't want space zombies. Then again, actually, it, it makes for much more interestingness. So it'll be fine. <gasps> Excuse me. Hiccup there. <coughs> Some objects in the game, such as locked doors, can be opened using decryption. Other objects, such as secure computer terminals, can only be accessed with electronics. If any squad member has a high enough rank in the required town, the decryption or electronics minigame will begin when you click on the object. Oh, cool. If you're too slow in making a response to the minigame, you can make a, or make a wrong response, you'll fail. If you fail, you'll need to click on the object again and use Omnidel to open or access it. Oh, that sucks. If nobody in your squad has a high enough rank, you cannot access or open the object. Shoot. <coughs> what? Really? What did I do wrong? It came out with B. I pressed B. Stupid thing. Did we level up? We leveled up. Yay. Okay, so I'm going to do marksman points. So I like that idea. Increase the pistol damage and accuracy. Reduces chance of overheating. That will be a good one. Tactical armor. Increase damage reduction. I think that's a good idea. And I could only do two things. Apparently. So. Shoot. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Let us just do a quick little save here. Um, I'm probably just going to save over the same place most of the time, unless we come to a uh, very tough decision or something. So how do we get the Omni Gel? There's something about going to equipment and breaking stuff down into Omni Gel. Oh, okay, you just press Y. Ah, oh, yay, perfect. Okay, uh, let's also turn this into Omni Gel. And the Survivor Armor, I think I'll turn also into Omni Gel. Maybe. And this Lancer assault rifle, because it's not so good compared to anything else. Let's get rid of this Kessler pistol, this Avenger sniper rifle, 
And we have nothing else. So, what is my Omni Gel? My Omni Gel there is a 39, I believe. Oh, by the way, Dan turns out he was dead the entire time. That's why the, only the boy talked to him. <gasps> what are you talking about? Are you ruining the story? Override using 25 Omni Gel? Humans, thank the Maker. <laughs> Hurry, close the door before they come back. Who are you? What are you doing here? I'm Dr. Warren. I was in charge of this excavation. <gasps> we hid in the shed during the attack. They must have come to the beacon. Oh, really? It wasn't here. It was moved to the spaceport earlier this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. Calm down, buddy. Uh... Let's go to the attack. What else can you tell me about the attack? It all happened so fast. One second we were gathering up our equipment, the next we were hiding in the shed while the Geth swarmed over the camp. Agents of the Destroyers, bringers of darkness, heralds of our extinction. This guy's a little bit too... The battle outside. Gunfire, um, screams. I thought it would never end. What's the word? Then everything went quiet. We just sat there. Too afraid to Paranoid move. or something, I don't know. Until you came along. Okay, uh, assistant. What's wrong with your assistant? Manuel has a brilliant mind, but he's always been a bit unstable. Ah. Genius and madness are two sides of the same coin. Okay, this is why. Madness to see the future, to see the destruction rushing towards us, to understand there is no escape, no hope. No, I am not mad. I'm the only sane one left. Are you? I gave him an extra dose of his meds after the attack. I can shut him up. Oh, that's mean. Williams, take us to the spaceport. You can't stop it. Nobody can stop it. Night is falling. The darkness of eternity. Hush, Manuel. Go lie down. You'll feel better once the medication kicks in. Interesting stuff. All right. Is there anything in here I can take? You guys got any supplies? No? You have absolutely nothing that I can steal? Oh, sorry. Um, okay. Good job teleporting. That's, that's awesome. Oh, oh, perfect. Yay, there's stuff in here that I can grab. We have another pistol and light armor. Guardian light armor. Sweet. And we have, okay, we just got Omni Gel and stuff from that. All right. Um, so let's go to equipment then. So the striker pistol, the accuracy rating is not the greatest. Um, but let's go to Ashley and give her maybe this. Yeah. And then it turns out he's a giant spider. Ah, oh, he's a giant spider. What the heck? That's ridiculous. That makes no sense. All right. Um, armor. Yes, that one. Oh wait, no, no, no. I want, I want Shepard. I want Shepard. Yes. This guardian armor- oh my gosh, this guardian armor is ridiculous. That has like zero tech slash biotic protection and zero whatever else. Really? Ugh. No. Return that into Omnigel. Goodbye. Goodbye, gross armor. Thank you. I don't want. Watch, that. that's probably one of the best pieces of armor in the game because it has a super powerful upgrade that makes it like better than anything else and I just screwed it up makes more sense than the real ending <laughs> does it Saren oh Nihilus. this is probably a bad idea a bad thing this isn't your mission Saren what are you doing here the council thought you could use some help on this one. Oh, is that so? I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Bye, Nihilus. Don't worry. I've got it under control. <sighs> I already knew it. Look at the size of it. Oh my god. That's an interesting looking ship. I definitely like the idea of that. Um, I'm going to change this. And for myself, I'm going to equip my sniper. Alright. Got 
that one. Sweet. Uh, okay, the, the, one of those things just dropped. Where is it? Where's the where's the space zombie thing? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Okay, well, we'll, we'll they'll get it. They'll get it. There we go. Oh no! There's another husk coming that way. Did I get that? I could not have gotten that. Where am I aiming? Where am I aiming? Over there. Nope. That was bad. That was horrible. There we go. Got that one. Oh, that was the overheat. All right. Well, now I know what it's, uh, what happens with the overheat. Serum was the coolest character in the game. Rip. Wait. Don't don't you mean don't you mean um the other guy? Not 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 Saren. Um, Nihilus. Don't you mean Nihilus? Containment cell. What is that? An explosive? Yes. Of course, it's an explosive. And we have another crate. We get Omni Gel and stuff. Uh, okay, so I don't know how this works here. You have to be freaking quick with that. What the heck? That's just rude. I kind of feel like going back a little bit. Where, where was? Where's my last uh, quick save point? Auto save Eden Prime Store. Oh, that was that was way back then, eh? Um. Well, if I if I do a quick little uh, save thing here, and I do this one, that's a 52 minutes. The last time I saved was eight minutes ago. So maybe that's not really a good idea to go back just to do that. <sighs> That is rude. That thing is ridiculous. I don't like it. There's probably good secrets in there too, and now I've just lost it all entirely. I should also probably switch my weapon again. Untrained. What do you mean, untrained? Put that away. There's gotta be more crates and stuff around here though. There's gotta be. In a place like this? Of course, it's going to be more. Up this way. Come on. Medical kit. Nihilus. Ah. Uh. Something's moving over behind those crates. And bye bye, free gun. Wait, don't, don't of course. shoot! I'm one of you. I'm human. Who are you? What are you doing, sneaking around back there? <sighs> I am sorry. I was hiding from those creatures. My name's Pal. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. Other one? What the hell are you talking about? There were two Turians here. Your friend and another one he called Saren. I think they knew each other. Your friend seemed to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. Just like he didn't see him behind Just the crates. Uh, him hello, the Mecha San. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. Uh, what class am I? I am a. Um, oh my goodness, I, I, for, I forget what it was called. Um, this is the fifth one down. It It is the, yeah, Infiltrator. Thank you, balls. <laughs> it's the Infiltrator. I forgot what the name of it was. I apologize. Uh, what about the beacon? We were told a Prothean beacon was brought to the spaceport. What happened to it? It's over on the other platform. Probably where that guy Saren was headed. He hopped on the cargo train right after he killed your friend. I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. Well, of course. Once that damn mothership showed up in the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I had been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. The Geth didn't find you. How come you? you're the only one who survived? Why didn't anyone else try to hide behind the crates? They never had a chance. I, I, I was already behind the crates <coughs> when the attack started. Wait a minute. You were hiding behind the crates before the attack? I... Sometimes I need a nap to get through my shift. Oh yes, napping. I, sneak I know all about the that. I to grab 40 winks where the supervisor can't find me. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. You survived because you're lazy? Lucky break for you. If you hadn't snuck off for that nap, you'd probably be dead just like all the others. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. I don't really want to think about it. Okay, there you go. Proof proof that 
Naps are good things. Yes? Mm -hmm. There we go. High five. There's stuff in the back. All right. I'm going to do my best to search for everything I can. But, uh, unfortunately, I'm not going to make we any promises on finding absolutely everything. Because I already missed the one stupid door Take back the there. Train. That's where the hey, Adrian. How are you doing? Um, I, chat would probably be I, too I quiet without balls. I Maybe a little bit. <laughs> I don't know. I think I think most people are just watching, which is totally fine. People enjoy watching. Oh, now it auto saves. <sighs> Stupid thing, Medi Gel. Is there a maximum amount of Medi Gel I can have? What is this? Oh, it's another upgrade kit. Yeah, what's over here? Armor piercing rounds and hammerhead rounds. Oh, sweet. Level three hazard. Well, of course. What's that? I didn't. Oh, there's a reason for this. Oh, hello. Um. Well, this is this is not the best idea. Run forward to it. Oh, oh no. Okay. Uh, I apologize. Uh, get over here, get trooper. Oh no, I am I am dead. I am I am dying. I'm dying severely. Let me save again, please. Oh shoot, I or um heal again, please. Save again. What am I talking about? Let me heal again. Are there more? Are there more enemies? I I definitely see what it's talking about with me being untrained with that weapon, so maybe I should not do that, and I should go to my pistol. Yes? Probably oh wait, this isn't even the right thing. Um it increases as you upgrade character. Uh alright, perfect. Thanks. I don't even write that much, only like 120 messages per stream. That's that's a lot. Which is a good thing, actually. It's a good thing. Um do we level up again? No, we do not. Electronics unlocked. Ah. Sweet. Uh, overload. Damages enemy shields within a certain radius. Cool. Uh, I can't quite do that. Oh, wait. No, I can. Because I already got it. Okay. Cool. Thought that was already unlocked before. Thank you, game. All right. Um. Let me switch back to my pistol, please. There we go. Infiltrators are only trained in pistols and sniper rifles. You won't be able to aim with the other weapons. Oh, okay, that's what that means. Alright, that makes much more sense. Thanks. See, I know absolutely nothing about the game. <laughs> so I'm glad to have people here who do know about the game. Uh, are there more enemies? There's probably more enemies. Yep, yep, I see. I, I hear another enemy. Hello. Oh, are you shooting through there? Or something? Where are you? Oh, there you are. Hello. How... How are you? You guys have pretty bad aim, you know this? Apparently so do I. I have extremely bad aim as well. With later mods, you can aim somewhat. Alright. Oh, uh, press and hold right bumper to bring up the power wheel and pause it. Yes, I know this. Why you, why you keep telling me this, game? I already know that. You already told me that once before. Don't need to repeat thine self. Oh, this looks like the way we're supposed to go. Uh... And sniped! Sniped! Okay, uh, I need to get behind cover. Do I, do I not have any more ammo? Oh, no, I do. But I told, uh, okay, sorry. Any nice plans for May long weekend? I, for myself, probably not. Probably nothing specific, but I told him to start with soldier. Yes, I know you did, but it is okay. I wanted to go with infiltrator. Infiltrator seemed interesting to me. So I wanted to try it. Oh, come on. This is this is ridiculous. Oh, okay, I can I can zoom in even more. This is ridiculously hard to aim with. It is not steady at all. Welcome to sniper rifles because your aim as a trained highly trained commander is going to be garbage. Caden can only use pistols effectively while Ashley can use all the weapons. All right. Well, they got that guy. No, they didn't. Never mind. Oh, sweet. I sniped him. I'm gonna use this again. Use that meta gel. I need that. Uh, let's not snipe Ashley in the face. Even though that might be kind of fun. Did I actually hit that guy? I don't think I actually hit that guy. 
It was not my doing. Okay, that one I actually got. That does not help. Alright, crouch down. Come on! Gosh, I hate the... I hate how unsteady the aiming is. That is actually really ridiculous, if you ask me. Um, oh, okay, so we can't we can't go that way. We can't even fall off the edge. That's probably a good thing. You aren't trained yet. Sweet video game logic. <laughs> yeah, I know. You gotta cover mechanic, and when weapons overheat, you need to wait for them to cool down in-game. In-game mods make it easier to use weapons. Thanks! Um, I, I do know about the cover mechanic. I'm just not uh, really using it effectively. <laughs> <laughs> for some reason. I'm being a butt about it, I guess. Like I said, completely brand new to the game, so I don't know much about it. Learn as I go. That is how that is going to go. Can I only have a maximum of five metagel? It seems I can only have a maximum of five metagel. I am the one taking all the damage. My, enemy, my, my teammates are not taking any damage. You can order your squad to move forward. Uh, like that. Okay, so that's how that works. Cool. Perfect. Activate train controls. Yes, I want the train. Where, where is this? Give me this. Hello, Saren. Set the charges. Destroy the entire. Are you the one who created Saren Gas? No evidence that we were here. Oh, really? So you're ordering the Geth. Creeper. Creepy guy. I can believe Mass Effect 1 with every class multiple times with my main character. Nice. I have not. <laughs> Obviously. Oh, get prepared for immediate fighting. Um, sniper may be not be a best idea, I don't know. Um, <clears throat> Oh, demolition charges. Saving. Saving, saving, saving. Demolition charges, disarm demolition that, please. Demolition charges. The Geth must have planted them. Oh. Hurry. We need to find them all and shut them down. Oh, shoot. Okay. Um. Let's be careful with this. And ju just so... Uh, same for the second game. Nice. So, uh, just so anyone... Is, no, no, just so everyone is aware, if anyone new is here, if you want to subscribe... A little notification will pop up on, on screen showing that you have subscribed, and it's really cool if you would like to do that. No pressure. You are not required. But I think the notification thing is pretty cool. Oh, hello. Hello, guy. Oh, no, 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 I'm not, I'm not using my cover very effectively. Oh, God. Get away from cover. Get out of cover. Drop down. Drop down. Well, th this one's not going to go well. I didn't realize I was being shot from right there. There we go. I knew it. Third one only once, and I probably will never again. <laughs> that is totally fine. Alright, well, um... Oh. Well, I guess we can do that. Sure, why not? Let's just do that. <laughs> that was the autosave. It was right there, so we're fine. <laughs> there we go. Oh dang, I need to go, Demolition but I will definitely the get uh, finish watching this later. Awesome stream day. Thanks, Skelm. Have a great one, and we'll see you again very soon. Thanks for joining for a little bit. Must have planted them. Uh, yes. They more than likely did plant them. Mm -hmm. That seems likely. And Hurry! I have nothing here. We need to here. find them all and shut them down. Yes, of course we do. All right. So we need to disarm this one. Oh, it shows me where all of them are. Nice. Well, I mean that works. That works well. That's helpful. You. Did I not hit you? Oh, I did hit.
shoot. Darn it. That was not a good hit. Yes, got that one. Sand cover and don't forget the grenades. Ah, yes. I forgot about the grenades. Oh, shoot. Come on. Why are you aiming so high? Got him. Perfect. Okay. So only a couple more. Oh, what? Where the heck am I being shot from? Am I being shot from the front, too? Piece of junk. Uh, so grenades is with um, X, I think. No, back. It's with back. Okay. So gotta use the grenades more. Uh, and hope that works well. Demolition charges. The Geth must have planted them. Hurry! Not just the Geth. And shut them down. So where are the rest of them? They're coming they're coming that way. Yeah, of course they are. Ah, uh, they're going over that direction and then firing from there. That's not fair. You know there's a timer, right? I know. I know. I'm not I'm not doing the best with this. Got him. Where's the ones over that way? Got that one. Perfect. Got him. Yep. Alright. Is there only the three? Can't be just those three. No. No, there's gotta be more. Oh. Shoot. Missed. Darn it. Okay, well... We need we need to get out of here and go go find the rest. Oh crap, 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 crap. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Over this way. Hide. Darn it. Darn it, darn it, darn it. Okay. Oh! Oh, those just like fly straight. I did I honestly did not know that. I didn't know those things could float that way. Well that's cool. Uh let's go over here. Let's disarm this. Shoot. Everyone, everyone is almost dead. Take the shotgun and get jiggy with it. Where is this one? Where are you? There you are. Shoot! The shotgun. I don't know how well the shotgun's gonna work, because I, I have to get up close and personal. Oh no. Shoot! Ashley is not doing too great. I've lost shields! Oh god. What the heck? Well, this part's gonna get me stuck for the next hour. Probably. I thought I was doing quite well. I need to use those grenades more, though. I, I didn't realize that the grenades could just, like, fly straight forever in whatever direction you shoot them at. Uh, so, that would Demolition be smart charges. for the me to use them. them. Yeah. Hurry! We need to I find think, them all and shut them down. All right. So right, right there. Yes. Just like that. Is that gonna blow it up? Did that actually hurt that one? I feel like no, it did not. Darn it. Uh, don't forget your powers. Sniper, pistol, use nothing else. My powers? What powers? I don't know about the powers. I, I know about the, the grenades and the, and the meta gel, but nothing else. Oh, come on. Why is that one so impossible to hit? 
Got that one. Okay, well I hit that one, I'm sure. I had to have hit that one. There's no way I didn't. Need to press select again to detonate the grenades. Alright. Yes, okay, got one of the white ones down. Perfect. Oh, there's also this little area I can go. Uh, that's probably a bad idea, though. I can explore later. There's no need for aim when you're when you're in their face. That's true, but we just saw what happened when I was in their face. I died. <laughs> Shotgun to my or um, I I, I got blown up and then blasted. <sighs> All right. So is, is it possible? No, it is not possible for me to save right here. So I probably should have known that one. Um, is this the last one? No, there's still one more. I only have a couple minutes to disarm it. Shoot, 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 shoot. Alright, um... Going for the for the pistol for now. So I feel like we're about to get... More close. Combat. Okay, well there's no one right around. Get away from cover. Get out of cover. There we go. Open this. Yes. We'll take that. Um, oh, is this the last one? This is the last one. Okay, so did I win this time? Jeez, and here I was thinking I was, it, it was going to take me the next hour to, to, to finish. Well, I want to go this way and see if there are any crates or anything. Yeah, don't worry. Negative contacts. That's a good thing. There's... Keep going this way. Keep on, keep on, keep on. Is there anything over this way? Anything at all? Anything at all? Any upgrade kits, weapon kits, nothing? Absolutely nothing. Alrighty, fine then. Okay, well, during combat we can't do anything like that. Open the power wheel, opposite bumper to the weapon wheel. That one! Thank you! Oh, goodness. While holding RB, use RS to aim at a target and LS to highlight an ability on the power wheel. Okay, so right to aim, left to highlight an ability. Press A to select. I missed what that said. Um, but here we go. Use throw, use overload, use sabotage, overkill, shield boost, overload, marksman, or sabotage. Nice! Awesome! Thanks! I literally would not have known about that. Otherwise. Where? Oh, shoot. That's a shock trooper. Not to be confused with storm trooper. Oh, darn it. He's, he's coming up the stairs. He's gonna come up the stairs. Yep. Well, everyone, get behind cover. Like, my, my gosh. There we go. Ashley. Why didn't you get behind cover? I told you to get behind cover. That was dumb of you. Not to. Oh no. Come on. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. There we go. Uh, a husk. I don't want a husk. I don't want the husk. No. He's going to disable our shields entirely. Oh, and I was right beside one. Oopsie. I did not know this. Alright, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. There's there's one more guy over there. Overload. Oh wait, uh let's let's go over here. Overload. There we go. Uh, ah. Yes. Oh, neat! Okay, that's cool. Distinguished Service Medal. Oh, what does that do? Complete Eden Prime. What? Eden Prime is completed now? Well, this is a very small world for us to be on then. Interesting. Shock Troopers or Storm Troopers? Are Storm Troopers. Are they? I think it's the wrong universe. Combat sensor, armor upgrade. 
Sweet. Uh, no, 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 no. We're not going to randomly just turn that into Omni Gel. Not immediately. I'm going to, at the very least, go to my equipment now. The red ones. The red ones. <sighs> Actually, I, 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 should, I should also see if we um, do something else. Uh, motorized joints. Sweet, I'll take that as well. Um, okay, so Banshee for the assault rifle. Uh, since I cannot use the assault rifle, there is no point in me having that. So I will give her um, this one. That one actually looks pretty good. <laughs> and then for this, we will turn this into Omni Gel. <laughs> yes, all right. Now we have Thermal Armor, Light Turian. So none of us can use that. So I feel like maybe we should just uh, turn to Omni Gel. There we go. Goodbye. Do I have nothing else? Absolutely nothing else. What? I thought we had more. Try all your powers whenever you can. Just keep training. All right. Thanks. Thanks for the help, man. And we do have a couple more points here. So unlock sniper rifles. Unlock sniper rifle. Ooh, increased damage by that much. Sniper rifles unlocked. Sweet. All right. Uh, infil infiltrate, so charmed. Sets charm score at 1, opens up new dialogue option. Intimidate score. Alright, infiltrate. Reduces heat buildup on pistols and sniper rifles by 5%. Increases the tech mine explosion damage of sabotage, overload, and damping by 5% as well. I'll get that one. Reduces heat buildup by 6%. Increases tech explosion by 7. Maybe not quite yet. Increases tech explosion by that. Um... What else do we have here? Fitness. We cannot do anything with, with fitness at all. Well, that's not nice. Unlock dampening. Increase shield capacity. Restores that much during vehicle repair. That would probably be a good thing, actually. Tactical armor. I am going to, I think, actually get this one. Oh, wait. No, that's, that's what that is. Sniper rifles. Oh, okay. This is what I need for that. Oh, all right. Perfect. Press X when in equipment to install upgrades. Ah, yes. I forgot about that. Okay, give me one sec, guys. I I need to go give my cat some food and water because he is yelling at me and he is ah, running low, apparently. I'm also going to go bald because of this thing. It's grabbing all my hair. All right, so I'll be back in just like, I don't know, two minutes probably. So, Joe, calm down. I'm coming right now, kitty. Just wait. Alright, not to worry, I am back. Bulls, what are you talking about, about shooting thine self? Um, sorry about there being two chats on the window, or on, on, the, on the screen, for that. That is interesting. It is getting very hot in here. <sighs> you know, shoot yourself or something, have a good one. Don't go shoot yourself. But fine, have a good one, we'll see you soon. Ooh, some enemies use jamming technology to block your weapon radar. The combat scanner upgrade improves detection levels, making these enemies visible. Level 1 detection. Okay, so I should give myself that one then. Um, no, no, no. Uh-uh. Uninstall upgrade, thank you. Empty, there we go. Uh, I'm gonna give myself that one on my 
Pistol. What else do I have actually on here? Improved sighting, weapon upgrade. Right. What? I can only have one weapon upgrade? Well, then I should have the improved sighting, shouldn't I? Does the improved sighting only work with, with certain weapons? I feel like it only works with certain weapons. Hmm. I'm gonna put it on the... I, I, I'm gonna keep it on that. What the heck? Oh no, YouTube is telling me that there's problems. Well, great. Um... Give me a second, guys. Uh, because there are problems and the stream status is bad... Give me one second, I'm gonna go see if I can fix that somehow. This is stupid, and I'm sorry. I just disconnected my laptop from the internet, so hopefully that fixes any um, issues. It doesn't seem to have fixed anything because my computer itself is lagging a bit right now. Well, this is fine. I enjoy this. Let's switch it back to this for a second. Or for a minute or so until everything can just calm itself down a little bit. Sorry, I'm still just gonna like take a look and see what else is here that I can kind of get rid of from Task Manager while you guys are on the pause screen there. Sorry about this. I know this isn't the kind of thing that uh, should be happening, so I apologize. But I want to make sure that things go well. And it seems to not be going well at all. My upload speed is, like, dropping for some reason. Thanks, Internet! I appreciate it a lot. This is the best time for you to be dropping off like this. Please let me know if there's too bad of issues, and I will see what I can do. Weapons upgrades work on every weapon. Same goes for any armor upgrade. All right. Perfect. Thanks. Um, just keep it keep it with that. Uh, on my on my sniper rifle, I'll put the combat sensor. There we go. Just like that. Now, do I have anything for this? I do. So so um. What do I have on here so far? I think on here I have the hardened weave. This motor motorized joint gives plus 10 smash damage. Okay. And this one gives plus 40 shields. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to keep it on hardened weave. Ashley, I'm going to... Okay, your armor was a little bit strained there for a second. I'm going to give her more shields... And for Caden, I'm going to give him motorized joints. There is also ar armor plating one, which he could have, which is 5% damage protection. Maybe he should keep that, actually. That might actually work better. Let's get rid of the uh, motorized joints. So I think that'll work much better. All right. Here we go. Now our squad. Because, no, wait, I, I already did this. Um, but they they are already upgraded as well, so we're good. 
because I forgot those are automatic for my squad. All right, is YouTube liking things now? No, it's not. Of course not. Everything is going poorly. And I don't know why. So I apologize very sincerely for all the lagging issues that you guys are probably getting. Maybe you aren't even. But YouTube seems to be telling me that you are. Alright, either way, let's get our butts over here. And figure out what else is over here, if anything. Seem to move faster with this. Pro Prothean Beacon. Um... Not gonna go do anything with that quite yet. So I wanna figure out what this is. Heavy armor! Human! Assassin! Nice. Alright. Well, we got a new armor. And a storage locker. Ooh, easy easy decryption, eh? Easy decryption. Begin manual override. Sure. Oh, that time it worked! Yay, me! Striker and hammer. Uh Do not... I think I already got both of those at some point before this. Um, but I'm going to go see what else is over here first. Before we leave. Because it looks like there's a special weapon right there. Oh no, it's a storage container. Storage locker. Alright, so let's get that. Oh, it's also an override manual. Sweet! Okay, well now things are working better. Heat sink 1 and radioactive rounds. Nice, let's take all of those. All right. Now I don't know how to add ammo upgrades. Is that just something you can just randomly do, or does it like does it automatically add it, or what? Um. So so, sorry. What 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 did you say? Caden can only do. Caden can only. I'm just trying to look back at it. Because you said Caden can only use pistols effectively. Right. All right. Um. So we're just gonna keep that empty. I'm going to give him on his pistol. He has a striker one pistol. I'm going to give him the heat sink. So that works a little better for him. Um, this is slightly less damage. And hers is the exact same. Um, Alright. So there's no point having that then. Mum, you'll be right back? Alright, no problem. Hammer sniper rifle. She has... The hammer one as well. Confirm and exit. What does Shepard have? I forget what I have for this. Oh, no, no. That's, that's not what I want. Um, more damage, but lower accuracy. E I'm, I'm going to just leave that. Alright, so let's turn this into Omnigel. There we go. And then this. No one, no one here can use this. So... Let's get rid of it. Perfect. All gone. Now we can leave. Yay! Does holding A actually make you go any faster? Or does it just kind of feel like you do? I think it just kind of feels like you do. Because it doesn't seem to do anything. Alright. So let's go to this beacon thing here. Prothean beacon. To upgrade ammo, simply move to the empty slot next to the weapon upgrade slot. Oh, you can do that! Probably with the with the D-pad. That's probably what I was talking about, right? With the D-pad. Okay. Normandy, the beacon is Oops. secure. Is Thank amazing. you. Again. <laughs> actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. All right. Don't. Don't. Oh. Oh, what is going on? No, don't touch him. It's too dangerous. Oh, so this is what Saren also did then. Interesting. Well, he's not dead. We know he's not dead. That much is true. Oh, look! YouTube is liking my my stream now. 
It's not being rude. <coughs> we identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime. The Normandy. A human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. Why is he so mad about that? This human must be eliminated. Calm your hormones, sir. You're too angry. And she's a little too calm. Both freaks. In that regard. Not just because of what they look like. I'm not racist like that. Um... Doctor! Doctor Chakwas! I think he's waking up! Oh, that's me. Look it, I'm totally fine. You had us worried there, Shepard. Yay! How are you feeling? I'm sorry. I'm sorry for worrying you all. Oh. I am okay, I guess. Minor throbbing. Nothing serious. How long was I out? Yes, how long About was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. Well, I'm sorry about that. What about the beacon? Where's the beacon now? What happened to it? The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. The blast knocked you cold. The lieutenant That's and I good. carried you back here to the ship. Thanks. I appreciate it. Oh, uh, that was fine. an interesting look <laughs> she gave us. I detected some unusual brain activity. Oh, abnormal really? beta waves. Hmm. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. Not a dream, a vision. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death? Destruction? Nothing's really clear. Hmm. I better add this to my report. It may... Oh, Captain Anderson. Hello, sir. How's our XO holding up, Doctor? Well, all the readings look normal. I'd say the commander's going to be fine. Yeah? Glad to hear it. Is that so? Shepard, I need to speak with you. That'll be good, at least. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Sounds good. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? Um, well, I'm a little pissed off about the gas. Intel dropped the ball, sir. We had no idea what we were walking into down there. That's why things went to hell. The Geth haven't been outside the Vale in two centuries, Commander. Nobody could have predicted this. You wanted to you talk? You said you needed to see me in private, Captain? I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. Because he let his guard down? The invading. The Council's going to want answers. We've got nothing I to hide. I didn't do anything wrong, Captain. Hopefully the Council can see that. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren, that other Turian. Saren's a specter, one of the best, a living legend. But if he's working with the Gith, it means he's gone rogue. Uh huh. A rogue specter's trouble. Saren. You dangerous. think? And he hates humans. He wanted the beacon. Don't come forget to look at the codex. Primary codex humans. have a na narrator. Right. All right. Saren I'll do that right after this. Himself with the Gith. I don't know how. I don't know why. But it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? A vision. Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? A warning. I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. What will we say? What are we going to tell him? I had a bad dream? <laughs> yeah. That sounds we don't like know fun. What information was stored in that beacon? Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction? Whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. 
I know his reputation is politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. Not if I can help I'll find it. find some way to take him down. Yeah. It's not that easy. He's a specter. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the Council on our side. We expose him. We prove Saren's gone rogue, and the Council Bonsoir, will Monsieur. Hello, Husker75. Welcome to the master. screen. Stream. We'll Keep saying screen. My bad. <laughs> You'll Welcome to, to the stream. As as Thank you for city. joining. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. All right. He's going to bring us into dock, and we are going to... Right now, uh, since this is saved, I am just going to look at the codex. Oh, is there anything special in here? No, there's nothing special in here. Oh, oh there's purple vials of... Uh, Whatever, purple tubes or whatever. The Geth are back! This is not a good thing, I don't think. The Geth are bad, I assume. I might be wrong. Alright, um. Alright, so. Citadel and Galactic Government. Um. Although the Citadel is equipped with Mass Effect generating element zero cores, most of the gravity on the station is generated by the centrifugal force. Centrifugal force of rotation. Rotation 3.5 minutes per revolution. Rotational gravity inwards 1.02 Earth. Uh, in wards 1.02 Earth. Rotational gravity in Presidium. Okay, I, that's all. A lot of interesting stuff there. So that's the Citadel, Citadel Station statistics. All right, personal history summary. You were raised on Mindwar on the fringes of the Attic and Traverse when you were 16. The colony was raided by slavers. The entire settlement was raised, and your friends and family were slaughtered. A passing Alliance patrol rescued you, but all you loved was destroyed. You enlisted with the Alliance military. This is basically kind of what we already established at the very beginning of the game, because it told us our story, and that's what I chose it based on. So, <clears throat> timeline. This is quite long. This is quite, quite long. Uh, Armstrong Outpost at Shackleton Crater becomes the first human settlement on Luna. It is formally founded on July 24th, though. July 24th, the 100th anniversary of the first lunar landing, 2069. L 2103, Lowell City in Eos Chasma becomes the first human settlement on Mars. 2137, Eldfell, Ashland Energy Corporation demonstrates helium-3 fuel extraction from the atmosphere of Saturn. 2142, construction of Gagar Gagarin Station, Jump Zero, begins um, beyond the orbit of Pluto. Uh, Husker75, uh, what does my mom mean? She just means, like, how, how did you find out about the stream? How did you, how did you get here? Was it, like, um... Did you search for it or that kind of thing? We're just, we're just always curious to know how people find my how people find my live streams because it's kind of cool to me to see the different ways people find it. Um, prospectors discover the Promethean ruins at Promethean Planum, Prothean ruins, sorry, on Mars. Translation of Prothean data, 2149. Leads humans to the Charon mass relay. This is a lot of information here. This is going to be a lot for me to read. Um, roughly 30% of the children born in Singapore after element zero exposure suffer from cancerous growths. Oh. Poor children. That's the secondary codex. Codex. Oh. Oh. Oops. What's the first one? This one? The journal? Is that what you mean, or? View tasks. Ooh, speak to the captain and stuff. Speak to Joker. Where's the, where's the primary codex? Oh, there it is. <sighs> Go left. I apologize for my stupidity. Oh, you're finally home, Abby. Well, welcome home. <laughs> Glad you're home. I hope you're doing a lot better than you were out in the uh, azaleas. All right, so there's lots of stuff Roughly here. Roughly 1,200 years ago, the Turians were invited to join the Citadel Council to fulfill the role of galactic peacekeepers. The Turians have the largest fleet in Citadel space and they make up the single largest portion of the Council's military forces. As oh, this is going to be a lot of information here. Spread, the Turians have come to rely on the Solarians for military intelligence and the Asari for diplomacy. Despite a somewhat colonial attitude towards the rest of the galaxy, the ruling hierarchy understands they would lose more than they would gain if the other two races were ever removed. Turians come from an autocratic society that values discipline and possesses a strong sense of personal and collective honor. 
There is lingering animosity between Turians and humans over the first. Your French guy, you just found, just have your stream on my suggestions. Well, that's awesome. And thank you for joining. Incident Again. To the Turians. Officially, awesome. however, Need to be more observant. <laughs> yes, I do. I'm sorry. <laughs> if cool diplomatic relations. I don't see things sometimes, and it's just confusing. Okay, there's a lot of things in here already. Extinct races. Years ago, the You're sneezing and swelling up. Ah. Uh, well, I'll help you feel better quickly. They vanished in a swift galactic extinction. Only the legacy of their empire remains. They are believed to have built the mass relays and the citadel, which have allowed numerous species to explore and expand throughout the galaxy. Prothean ruins are found on worlds across the galaxy. While surprisingly intact for their age, functioning examples of Prothean paleotechnology are rare. Time and generations of looters have picked their dead cities and derelict stations clean. Some believe the Protheans meddled in the evolution of younger uh, I don't know what's your the hour in your country, but I have dinner now. You have dinner now? For me, it is lunchtime. It is 12 p.m. right now. The presence of a former Prothean observation post on Mars has caused a rebirth of interventionary evolutionists among humans. These individuals believe the god myths of ancient civilizations are misremembered encounters with aliens. Interesting stuff. More aliens, non-council races. The are a humanoid race of networked AIs. They were created by the Quarians 300 years ago as tools of labor and war. When the Geth showed signs of self-evolution, the Quarians attempted to exterminate them. The Geth won the resulting war. This example has led to legal, systematic repression of artificial intelligences in galactic society. The Geth possess a unique distributed intelligence. An individual has rudimentary animal instincts, but as their numbers and proximity increase, the apparent intelligence of each individual improves. In groups, Interesting. they can reason, analyze situations, and use tactics, as well as any organic race. Geth space is located at the trailing end of the Perseus. You live in state country, Beyond town that the flower is, is Azaleas. The Perseus Vale, state slash county, obscuring slash dark town, nebula of the flower is Azaleas. <laughs> lies between their space and the Terminus systems. That's kind of not so great to be living in a place where there's a bunch of flowers you're constantly allergic to. So the Geth, it seems that these guys, um, since they're networked and stuff, it seems that they, uh, um. When they're together, the more of them that there are, the more intelligence they have. It's like having multiple brains all connected at once, which is really interesting, actually. After the Geth Ooh, secure this a location, is the husks. they round up and impale dead and living bodies on mechanical spikes. The spikes rapidly transform these victims into withered husks, extracting water and trace minerals, and replacing them with cybernetics. That's the messed cybernetics up. The cybernetics reanimate the lifeless flesh and tissue, transforming the bodies into mindless killing machines. Some Alliance soldiers refer to the husk-generating spikes as dragon's teeth, a reference to the mythological berserkers who sprang up from the earth wherever the teeth of the dragon Eris were planted. Dragon's teeth and husks huh. bear little resemblance to other pieces of Geth technology. No one is sure why a synthetic race would bother to drain the minuscule amount of recoverable resources from organic corpses, though the value of reusing them as shock troops is obvious. That's disgusting, actually. It's quite the disgusting. The Citadel is an ancient deep space station, presumably constructed by the Protheans. Since the Prothean extinction, numerous species have come to call the Citadel home. It serves as the political, cultural, and financial capital of the galactic community. To represent their interests, most species maintain embassies on the Presidium, the Citadel's inner ring. The Citadel Tower in the center of the Presidium holds the Citadel Council Chambers. Council affairs often have far-reaching effects on the rest of the galactic community. Five arms, known as the Wards, extend from the Presidium. Their inner surface reminds me of the Jedi Council cities, building populated from Star Wars. by millions of inhabitants from across the galaxy. The Citadel is virtually it's got five little points on it. If attacked, the station can close its arms to form a solid, impregnable shell. Oh! For as long as the station has existed, an enigmatic race called the Keepers has maintained it. That's actually kind of neat. 
Spectres are agents from the Office of Special Tactics and Reconnaissance and answer only to the Citadel Council. They are elite military operatives, granted the authority to deal with threats to peace and stability in whatever way they deem necessary. They operate independently or in groups of two or three. Some are empathetic peacekeepers, resolving disputes through diplomacy. Others are cold-blooded assassins, yeah, like Saren. dispatching problem individuals. All get the job done one way or another, often operating outside the bounds of galactic law. The Spectres Delightful. were founded after the Salarians joined like the Council. It's like corrupt cops. For many years, they operated Only not a religious organization. as backroom yeah. problem solvers. Only after the Krogan rebellions did their activities become publicized. Assignment of a Spectre is less contentious than a military deployment, but makes it clear that the Council is concerned about a situation. Sounds good. Humanity and the Systems the Alliance. The Systems Alliance is an independent supranational <laughs> government me. representing the interests of humanity as a whole. The Alliance is responsible for the governance and defense of all extrasolar colonies and stations. The Alliance grew out of the various national space programs as a matter of practicality. Sol's planets had been explored and exploited through piecemeal national efforts. The expense of colonizing entire new solar systems could not be met by any one country. Understandably so. Alien contact was inevitable. That would be there too was much. enough political will to jointly fund an international effort. Still, the alliance was often disregarded by those on Earth until the first contact war. While the national governments dithered and bickered over who should lead the effort to liberate Shanxi, the Alliance fleet struck decisively. I like how that sounds. Post-war public approval gave the Alliance the credibility to establish its own parliament and become the galactic face of humanity. Definitely interesting the stuff. The systems are located on the far side of the Attican Traverse, beyond the space administered by the Citadel Council or claimed by the Human Systems Alliance. It is populated by a loose affiliation of minor species, united only in their refusal to acknowledge the political authority of the Council or adhere to the Citadel Conventions. Their independence mm, comes grilled at a ham price. and cheese hot pockets. That sounds delicious. You're making me hungry. War among the various <laughs> species is common, as governments and dictators constantly rise and fall. The region is a haven for illegal activities, particularly piracy and the slave trade. At least once a year, a fleet from the Terminus invades the nearby Attican Traverse. These attacks are typically small raids against poorly defended colonies. Like what happened the to Shepard, according to the story the I chose, anyway, the background I chose. And a Mr. Pib, yummy combo. Against that sounds delicious. Foe, triggering a that long sounds really, really and delicious. War. I'm going to eat something after this. <laughs> long and costly war. War is definitely very costly. Combat hard suits use a dual layer system to protect the wearer. The inner layer consists of fabric armor with kinetic padding. Areas that don't need to be flexible, such as the chest or shins, are reinforced with sheets of lightweight ablative ceramic. The outer layer consists of automatically generated kinetic barriers. Objects traveling above a certain speed Hungry for me. <laughs> will trigger the barrier's <laughs> reflex system and Blow be me deflected, a kiss. <laughs> provided there is enough energy to locked in the shield's power Blow cell. A kiss to all of you. hard suits are sealable to protect the wearer from extremes of temperature and atmosphere. Standard equipment and includes an onboard oh, mini frame and a communications, navigation, right and sensing suite. The mini frame is designed to accept and display data from a Oh shoot! Combat hard Sorry. Suits use um, a dual layer system to protect the designed world. to accept and display data from a weapon smart targeting system to make it easier to locate and eliminate enemies. I don't want to listen to the whole entire thing again. Sorry about that. Called shields provide protection against most mass accelerator weapons. Whether on a starship <coughs> or a soldier's suit of armor, the basic principle remains the same. Kinetic barriers are repulsive mass effect fields projected from tiny emitters. These shields safely deflect small objects traveling at rapid velocities. Oh, this affords protect protection from bullets. from bullets and other dangerous Obviously. projectiles, but still allows the user to sit down without knocking away their chair. <laughs> the shielding afforded by hilarious. kinetic barriers does not protect against extremes of temperature, toxins, or radiation. All right, so that is all of the uh, primary objectives, or primary codex entries there. Um, and our next 
our next little objective or whatever here uh, is to speak to Joker um, and then figure out what exactly else we're going to be doing. Um, hmm, I'm just going to save right here. That says save three? Really? Okay, I guess. Maybe. Doesn't quite seem that way. Replenish Metagel. Replenish Metagel. Okay, we have another entry in the codex. Um, is there a thing I can replenish the... Uh, replenish. Why can I not speak right? The Omnigel. Probably not. Um, but in the codex. Is that in the primary? Oh, it is. Sort Combat. of. Metagel. Genetic. Metagel is a common medicinal salve used by Ooh. paramedics, EMTs, and military personnel. It combines several useful applications. A local anesthetic, disinfectant, and clotting agent all in one. Once applied, the gel is designed to grip tight to flesh until subjected to a frequency of ultrasound. Oh, that's creepy. It is sealable against liquids. I can explore the ship? Oh, okay. Blood, as I well will explore the ship then. Explore. The gel is a genetically engineered bioplasm created by the CERTA Foundation, a medical technology megacorp based on Earth. Technically, Metagel violates council laws against genetic engineering, but to date, it has proved far too useful to ban. <laughs> Isn't that interesting? Oh, this is illegal, but it's uh, it's it's way too useful. We we can't possibly ban it. Hey, commander. Hey, how's it going? Um, Chakwas. Hello, Chakwas. Oh, Shepherd's locker. Oh my goodness gracious! Why were these not in here before? Can I go to my equipment now? Because right now I can go to my Avenger sniper rifle. And I can equip my Hammer 3, although the accuracy rating is much worse. Which I don't appreciate very much. Um, yes. There we go, Hammer 3. Alright. Uh, so we're going to do that. Fun fact for those who don't know, Joker is voiced by Seth Green, who also voices Chris in Family Guy. Oh, interesting. You're talking about the guy from, from this game, right? This Joker. That's kind of cool. What else is in here? Humanity and Systems. Oh wait, uh, okay, that that's the secondary. Nothing in the in the primary. All right. Uh, hello. Yes, Commander. Is there something you need? Personal questions. How did you end up serving on an Alliance ship? I enlisted right out of med school. Earth always seemed boring to me. Too safe, too secure. I figured. The oh, you know, my home planet is just a little too boring. I want to go somewhere else and do things. New weapons stars, appear in the locker. Tending the nice. Of tough soldiers with piercing eyes and sensitive souls. <laughs> Turns out military life isn't quite as romantic as I'd imagined. But humanity needs the Alliance if we want to keep expanding through the Traverse. And the Alliance always needs good doctors. Oh, of course we do. So I stayed yep. on to do this one. Part. Perfect. That's cool. Uh, you know what? Good, go. good, goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye, Commander. We're not going to uh, uh, worry about stuff like that too much right now. This is Caden. Caden? Kaiden? Probably Caden. I just like pronouncing words ridiculously and names sometimes sort of to an extent when when it comes to in-game names I will or get game character names or something I'll probably pronounce them strangely just for the heck of it sometimes oh hello thanks for the salute I appreciate you oh there's galaxy map let's let's open that let's open that can I not open that do I have to go up here to open that? I do have to go up here to open that. Only the commanding officer may specify a definite des destination for the Normandy. All I want to do is open that up and look at it. Thank you. So this is obviously not the right place I'm supposed to go right now. Um, maybe. Comlink. Oh, okay, that goes in the codex. Oh, alright. So exploring things actually gives you experience points. So you can level up in junk. Ah, nice. That's awesome then. What else can I explore in here? Uh, da, 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 da. Apparently nothing. Nothing much anyway. Oh, what's this? What's this? That. Ah, oh, yes. Yes, yes. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um, th there was a guy I could talk to there too, wasn't there? No. Well, sort of. Yes. Not 100%. Oh, this you're guy. Okay, Commander. Losing Jenkins was hard enough on the crew. Yeah, it was. 
Uh, fun fact for Skyrim, who don't know, um, Parthenax voiced by a person who does Super Mario and some NPC are voiced by Jim Cummings, the person who voices Pete from Disney. I knew about the, uh, about Mario, but I didn't know about, um, the other guy. Keep exploring and talking. All right. I will do that. There's no one here sitting in these chairs I can talk to? Ugh, well, fine. You were all boring people. My god. I can't go through that darn door. Why are they locking things to me? This is not nice. Um, I don't want to talk to Joker right now. Just because I feel like that may or may not end up causing the story to go f f further. And I don't want to do that right now. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. Thanks. Appreciate it. Let's open the door. Thank you. What else goes down this way that I can go do? There's an elevator. Oh. Sorry, Ashley. Guess I'm just completely ignoring Ashley. Poor, poor Ashley. I should go talk to her. I'll go talk to her after I go down the uh, elevator here. Which I cannot move in. Ugh. I cannot move at all. Oh, my goodness gracious. Let's just jiggle the, the camera around. Because that sounds like fun. And ridiculousness. Alright. Oh, Normandy's vehicle bay allows you to manage your crew's inventory. Using a squad member's equipment locker allows you to alter their currently equipped weapons, armor, and upgrades. New equipment may be purchased from the requisition officer. Sweet. So you can purchase new stuff. Doing all that help level you up. Nice. Well, thank you. I'm glad to have the help because I have no clue about anything in this game, so. Um... Now, for his sniper rifle, he has that one. We could give him... Oh, he already has the Avenger one. Okay, well then, fine. Let's just get rid of it then. Uh, there's a Hurricane 2 shotgun, which he can't really use. He can only use um, pistols, can't he? So, maybe we won't quite do that. There's a Striker pistol, which he, we could get. has better accuracy, a little bit lower damage. You know what? Let's, let's do that. Do I play Heroes of the Storm? No, I have not. I have not ever played Heroes of the Storm before. I have heard of it, but I do not know about it. Oh, Ashley's locker is over there. Caden and Ashley. Ah, okay. I thought Ashley's just going to be somewhere on the other side of the world. Not not literally. I'm just being silly with that. So we're going to give her that, and there's no weapon upgrades we can give her. So let's just get rid of that. Perfect. Alrighty. And what else is this way? Ooh. Ooh, nice thing. That looks cool. Actually, does look kind of cool. Um, okay, well, obviously I cannot go that way. But I got a codex entry from there. Uh, there's this guy. This is the requisition officer. Well, hey, thank you. Hello. Looking for some extra supplies before you head out? Yes. What have you got? I want to see you want. Armor, what you weapons, have. Mods. It's not standard alliance issue, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. No, it is not. I will well, take whatever uh, clock I can get. Mind paying for it. I don't think so. Why should I pay you for my weapons and armor? My stuff doesn't come from the Alliance. I have to purchase it myself, and it's not cheap. Ah, oh, poor baby. Well, the licenses alone have set me back <laughs> more than I'd like. But no licenses, no goods. Without the goods, I'm out of a job. Licenses. What are licenses? Why do you need them? Manufacturers sell licenses. Each license allows me to buy and sell a certain brand of products. Ooh, I already yeah. have several basic ones. I guess that ones, does make sense. But you'll need to buy more if you want me to bring in different brands. Many of the best licenses are hard to get, but they're well worth the cost if you can find them. Sweet. Okay. Manufacturers. What do the different manufacturers offer? There are two <coughs> for me to keep track of, but each license will explain what it's good for. Okay, cool. Uh, new, new items. What does this How do? How often will you get new items? Excuse me? Well, that depends on how many licenses you've purchased. But I'll rotate items on a regular basis regardless. And any time we land someplace with a big enough port, I'll buy, sell, and trade whatever I can. Sounds Check good. back often. I need to move items quickly, so only the most basic items will be stocked consistently. Let's okay. see what you've got. You bet, Commander. Oh my goodness. I have how much? I have 1670. So this one is not going to work. That is for darn sure. Uh, but there's this here, which only costs 8,000. Yes, I can totally purchase that. Um, absolutely. 
assault rifle. I don't think I need that. There's a Kessler pistol, which I can't even do. There is a uh, these things, which I think are actually going to be good. Increase maximum units of meta drill by one. I will buy that. Um. Oh, oh, there's interesting, other interesting stuff as well. There was another thing down here. There, there was a meta gel thing. Did I not get the? Did I miss the meta gel thing? I missed the meta gel, didn't I? That's ridiculous. All right, and then there's these here. So special property: radioactive rounds. These rounds are stamped with a minuscule amount of radioactive material, inducing low levels of radiation sickness in targets. Okay, uh, that sounds interesting for sure. There's also phasic, which is plus 20% shield bypass, minus 30% damage. Uh, hammerhead rounds, plus 20% weapon force, armor piercing rounds, and damage versus organics, anti-personnel rounds. Well, I don't think I need to do any- Oh, this is- this is to sell. This is to buy. Oh. Oh, I didn't realize. One was selling and one was buying, and I did buy the Metagel. Also, okay. Okay, good then. That confused me. Okay, I didn't realize, though, that I was selling these things here. I thought these were also buying. Uh, so, these radioactive rounds I think I'll keep. Um, I am going to get rid of the phasic rounds, though. I think. The anti-personnel rounds... Hmm. I think I'll keep those for now. This is your stuff. Look at the cell. Look at the cells. Sigh. Yeah. Don't worry. Now I got it. Now I understand it. <laughs> I didn't for a second there, but I got it. All right. So there's obviously nothing I can buy then, which is good. Codex entry. Yes. Um. So that reminds me. I want to go to my equipment, and I want to. Go to this. Um, how do I? There we go. Ammo upgrade. Perfect. So for this, I think I'm going to give myself the um, radioactive rounds for the pistol. So I kind of like that idea. And for this one here, I want to give myself, for the sniper, I want to give armor piercing rounds. Like that. Yeah, that's what I want. Then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to give these guys different things as well. So that they can have some good stuff. So for his pistol, he has a heat sink upgrade. I'm going to also give him uh, these. Perfect. And then for Ashley's locker, or for Ashley's equipment, I don't know what she tends to use often. She seems to use the assault rifle a bit, so... And go here and give her anti-personnel rounds. There. That sounds good. Now let's go see what's down here. Because I have no clue what's down here. Oh, hello. Is there people I can talk to? Field Integrity Monitor. Alright, that gave me a Shame thing. Codex entry. Weapon setup is easier. Mass Effect 2. Well, we will find that out at some point, because I do have the whole Mass Effect trilogy. So, once I finish with Mass Effect 1, we will move on to Mass Effect 2. I don't want to talk to you again. What is that, though? Oh, this is showing lockers. Okay. Okay, let's go back up and let's talk to Ashley quick, I think. Go in. I like how he faces the the wrong way. It's hilarious. Most people, when when you go into an elevator, you go in, you turn around, you face the door. You don't go in and keep your back towards the door. Unless it's got two doors. One which you enter and one which you exit, depending on what floor you go to or something. Which is actually kind of neat, if you ask me. Oh, that is the way it is. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Oh god. I explained the I'm whole logic to myself. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. The crew could use some good news after what happened to Jenkins. Yeah. He'll be missed. Jenkins was a valuable part of this crew. 
Part of me feels guilty over what happened. If Jenkins was still alive, I might not be here. You are You're a good soldier, Williams. You belong on the Normandy. Thanks, Commander. I appreciate that. How are you holding up? Things were pretty rough down there. Are you okay? I've seen friends die before. <coughs> Come to being a Marine. But to see my whole unit wiped out. And you never get used to seeing dead civilians. But things would have been a lot worse if you hadn't shown up. You helped. We couldn't have done it without you, Williams. Thanks, Commander. I have to admit, I was a little worried about being assigned to the Normandy. It's nice when someone makes you feel welcome. Don't disappoint me. <laughs> no. I think you're going to fit in here just fine. <laughs> uh, I mean... Thanks, Commander. Paragon plus two. I don't even know what that means. But that's definitely interesting stuff. Okay, so Codex. Is there more in the primary? There is more in the primary. Ships and vehicles. The Mako Infantry Fighting Vehicle was designed for the System Alliance's frigates. Though the interior is cramped, an M35 is small enough to be carried in the cargo bay and easily deployed on virtually any world. With its targeted 155mm mass accelerator and coaxially mounted machine gun, the Mako can provide a fire team with weapons support as well as mobility. Since Alliance Marines may be required to fight on any world, the Mako is environmentally sealed and equipped with microthrusters for use on low gravity planetoids. Nice. The Mako is powered by a sealed hydrogen Excuse oxygen me. fuel cell and includes a small element zero core. While not large enough to nullify the vehicle's mass, <clears throat> the core can reduce it enough to be safely airdropped. Oh, when used that's in interesting. conjunction with thrusters, it also allows the Mako to extricate itself from difficult terrain. Interesting. Lots of interesting technology Element zero there. can increase or decrease the mass of a volume of space-time when subjected to an electrical current. Hmm. With a positive current, mass is increased. With a negative current, mass is decreased. The stronger that the makes current, sense. the greater the magnitude of the dark energy mass effect. Ah, In space, low mass fields this is why it's called FTL mass travel ah, okay. and inexpensive surface-to-orbit transit. High mass fields create artificial gravity and push space debris away from vessels. In manufacturing, low mass fields permit the creation of evenly blended alloys, while high mass compaction creates dense, sturdy construction materials. The military makes extensive use of mobility enhancing technologies, with mass effect utilizing fighting vehicles standard frontline issue in most military forces. Mass Effect fields are also essential in the creation of kinetic barriers or shields to protect against enemy fire. Sweet, that's all Army really cool stuff. are handheld devices that combine a computer microframe, sensor analysis pack, and manufacturing fabricator. Versatile and reliable, an Omni tool can be used to analyze and adjust the functionality of most standard equipment, including weapons and armor, from a distance. The fabrication module can rapidly assemble small three-dimensional objects from common reusable industrial plastics, That's also ceramics, pretty cool. and Wouldn't light that be alloys. nice to have a handheld this thing like that, eh? Repairs and That'd be darn cool. Standard items, as well as the reuse of salvaged equipment. Omni tools are standard issue for soldiers and first-in colonists. And first-in colonists. All right. Well, that looks like all the stuff we have there. Now, the Omni tool, I haven't... Hey, Death Grip 19 meow. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. Unfortunately, I think you're kind of at the end here, because I was about to end it soon. Um, but I will, I will, next, um, next Wednesday, I will be streaming Mass Effect 1 some more. Uh, this coming Friday, I will be streaming some Skyrim, and on Monday, I will be doing... Prince of Persia, The Two Thrones. So if anyone is interested in any of that stuff, uh, you can come back for those. And yeah, I'd love to see you guys again at at any of these live streams. It's always great having, having all you guys show up. So... Uh, the only other person I didn't actually talk to was Caden, I guess. Glad so let's talk to Caden okay, quickly. Commander. Okay, that's it. Well, th thanks, Caden. I'm glad to see you're okay as well. Hey, hey, ha, ha, hey, hey. Could I talk to these guys? Nope. Let me just put my face in yours, and uh, we will do that, I guess. Hmm. 
Okay, so in my locker there's nothing else there. So the only other thing we can do now, it seems, is to go and talk to Joker. But I think I am going to leave that for next week. Um, on Wednesday, same time as this one. But I'm going to end it right here. So I'm just going to stop right here. I'm going to save. Let's go right here. Perfect. <clears throat> save six. Nice. All right. So yeah, this is where I'm going to end the stream. So thank you everybody so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this stream so far. This was quite fun. It was really cool to start this game. This is a completely blind playthrough, so I don't know anything about it whatsoever. Oh, you need to talk to the doc more and then Caden? Alright, maybe I'll go quickly do that first then. I'll go do that quickly. Quickly talk to her and then back to Caden uh, and see what that does. Uh, but yes, I will be doing this every week on Wednesdays from now until the foreseeable future. Until unless otherwise stated uh, and it'd be great to have you guys join again yes right. commander is there something you need captain anderson what do you know oh about i captain need to anderson? talk to about and talk I've to her about him for a few ah. tours now he knows when to let things slide and when to crack the whip the crew knows he's seen pretty much anything they'll ever run into and he cares about the people under his command which is good oh, well, let's talk about caden i'd never worked with him before this mission but he has an impressive service record, over a dozen special commendations. Tends to keep to himself, though. Maybe because of the headaches. It's headaches. not easy being an L2. What does that have to do with it? Well, most biotics now use the L3 implants. Lieutenant Alenko was wired with the old L2 configuration. Sometimes there are complications. What complications? What kind of complications? Severe mental disabilities, insanity, crippling physical pain. There's a long list of horrific side effects. Caden's lucky. He just gets migraines. Well, that's not such good things to have. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Oh, Codex. More Codex stuff. All right. Glad to see you're okay, Commander. Ah! I can't even talk to him anymore. About more stuff. Wait, what goes down this side? Have I been down here yet? I have not! Oh my goodness, I completely missed this area, too. Captain, this is Captain Anderson. So, hello go there. speak to Joker when you're ready. Tell him to bring the Normandy into dock. All right. Okay. Well, you don't say too much, so good for you. Let's take a quick look at that codex entry. Uh, this is technology, biotics, and amps. And this is systems alliance. And then, pri Your oops, my, my bad. Ring. Go away. Don't do that. Thank you. Uh, technology. Biotics is the ability of rare individuals to manipulate dark energy and create oh. mass effect fields through the use of electrical impulses from the brain. Cool. Intense training and surgically implanted amplifiers are necessary for a biotic to produce mass effect fields powerful enough for practical use. The relative strength of biotic abilities varies greatly among species and with each individual. There are three branches of biotics. Stuff. Telekinesis uses mass lowering fields to levitate or impel objects. Mass raising kinetic fields are used to block or pin objects. Spatial distortion uses rapidly shifting mass fields oh. to shred objects. I Most didn't switch back to the game. I'm sorry, guys. Developing biotic abilities, though there are risks involved. Biotics are the result of an in utero exposure to element zero. This usually causes I'm fatal sorry, cancers guys. in the victim, but in rare cases, <laughs> it coalesces into nodules within the fetus's developing nervous system. I'm sorry for not switching back to the actual game so you guys could see all of that, although there really, there really isn't too much to actually see. It's mostly just listening, So, but I still apologize, because <laughs> that's a little bit ridiculous for you guys to have absolutely nothing to look at except for my lovely face. So I apologize. I always forget when it comes to things like that to switch it back to the darn game. Open the door. Thank you. Now let's go back this way. Now we can go save. Alright. 
I'm gonna go right into right into the square right here right here this is where I'm gonna go okay so now I'm going to save Normandy quarters yes alrighty so uh, yeah this was a lot of fun thank you to everyone who did join again uh, I really appreciate it and I hope to see you guys all in future streams on future streams like I said upcoming on Friday will be Skyrim um, on Monday will be Warrior, uh, Prince of Persia, The Two Thrones, and on Wednesdays I will be doing more Mass Effect. So I have three different games that I'm streaming right now, which you can all um, join at any time. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, those are the days I stream, always at 10 a.m. MDT, and I would love to see you all again very soon. So thank you all for watching, hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you again very soon. Have a great day or night, whatever time of day it is for you, and God bless. Have a great one. Now, just going to. Because you got to make sure that it's actually stopped. The stream, sometimes it ends up cutting off before you guys see me or hear me say bye. So, yes. I will I will wait until until I see myself put my microphone up to my face. Almost there, so I'll just keep saying bye, I guess. And waving. Bye. Bye. Okay, there. Now it's now I just said bye.